Hello. Hello. Do you have a match? I think so. Let's see. Here you go. Right. He wants to cut it down. Now, look, 60 people live on that block, and all of them have signed this petition to save the tree. Concrete's cleaner. They'll get used to it. Mrs. Claxton, please. I also have pictures of the tree that I'd like you all to take a look at. You want to look at pictures? I've got pictures. <laughs> Must have swum from Normandy, across the Atlantic, up the St. Lawrence Seaway, into the Great Lakes, and then over to Minnesota. And what did you think, Rose? <laughs> well, I know those little guys are supposed to be good swimmers. <laughs> Morning, Blanche. How was your date last night? Huh. How was my date last night? I woke up alone. That's how my date was last night. <laughs> he didn't open my car door. He did not escort me into the restaurant. Stume, don't tell me you've never heard of Mr. Terrific. Mr. Terrific's clubhouse? Every weekday afternoon, one full hour on Saturdays? You don't mean that clown with the kitty show. No, he's not a clown. He's a superhero. You're thinking of Bozo. <laughs> I'm talking to Bo. I'm quite fond of you. I'm fond of you, too. <laughs> Nicest thing that you have ever said to me. It is? Absolutely. Yeah, you're probably right. Most of the time when I compliment you, I'm not being sincere. But I really meant that last one, I swear. Look, Blanche, the rusty anchor is not worth risking our friendship over. If you want... I guess I could go out with a schoolboy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> She loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me, miss. But do you know how smashingly lovely your eyes are? Oh, please. I'll bet you talked to Dorothy and she sent you out on this mission of mercy. So just take a hike, tea bag. I beg your pardon, uh, I don't know who this Dorothy is. I don't know any of the... It was you girls. Yes, you just let me carry on and be crazy and you were right there through it all. We live here. <laughs> you were caring and supportive and I want to thank you for it. I'm really lucky to have friends like you. Oh, the little rats are still here. Yeah, the animal people are coming for them tomorrow. No, they aren't. No. Hundred-year-old oak tree. Because Frida Claxton is a miserable, vile, scum-sucking crank who gives nice old ladies like me a bad name. <laughs> Believe me, she's a totally rotten human being. Well, I, for one, don't think there is such a thing as a totally rotten human being. I think there's some good in everybody. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, I get such a kick out of your slogan. That's his slogan? Look, everyone, Mr. Terrific? <laughs> 22 years next fall. You must be Sophia. And I'm Blanche Devereaux. It's such a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, you watch the show? Why? How does money... You know, I always thought it was sad. I outlived my whole family. But, but I, I never knew it was going to be a punishment. The hotel business started to slump. Hundreds of people got laid off. Now, I went looking for work. I bought a nectarine. <laughs> They are. <laughs> but uh, don't count your money yet. Those are the two males. Sicilian, yachts means Apollo. <laughs> Ma, will you stop that? It wouldn't hurt you to learn how to kiss up. Stanley, one question. If things are going so well, what is it you want? Glad you asked, babe. 
I need your help. I want to export this Borny to Japan. It's just two little words, but they are the hottest two little words in all the whole world for me to say. Not tonight. <laughs> No. By our life. But it did turn out to be a lovely Valentine's cruise. <laughs> well, it did not. We never even had to use those condoms. You didn't? I used every one of mine. <laughs> Late at night, I filled them with water and threw them at the people in the limbo line. <laughs> at three. <laughs> then I have a retirement account that's about 4000 Okay, I can borrow on my life insurance. That should bring us close, huh? Then it's settled. We're going to call Sid and tell him to go ahead with a new roof. Okay. Oh, oh Ma. You will not believe... Why it between your legs feels like. <laughs> gotcha. <clears throat> Dorothy, how did this start? Cole Porter? Gershwin. Thank God I came in time. <laughs> wanted to go to the Holy Land. She had just bought the ticket. Now she's dead. Hi. What a day. Oh, you too? Oh. You know Roger Barton, the man who works in the cubicle next to me? He doesn't like me. Everybody's always liked me. Sophia. <laughs> what does it mean? A little less bourbon? <laughs> it's a big decision, Sophia. She's got to think about it. She's family. If you can't count on family, who the hell can you count on? She's Italian. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I just hate bowling. All I ever wanted to do was look cute in my new outfit. We all look cute in your new outfit. <laughs> Call all over the world free of charge, except for Albania and North Korea, of course. In your television remote, you can use it to raise the windows and flush the toilet. <laughs> well, I'm gonna run over to the freeway, see if there are any cars in trouble. This guy knocks me out. Chuck, do you think you could finish our dishwasher first? I'm not, Chuck. That's the smoke alarm in Sophia's room. Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Anyone for s'mores? <laughs> Well, Sophia, how's it feel to be home? I feel like a free man. <laughs> well, you didn't ask. Uh, oh, I, I hope I'm not too late for the funeral. Why, no. No, not at all. Oh, thank goodness. I would have felt just terrible if I'd missed it. She was one of my dearest friends. Did you hear that, Dorothy? One of her dearest friends. <laughs> yes. Oh, my. Okay, do me first. One thing I know for sure, I have not lost my hourglass figure. But it looks like somebody poured about 90 minutes of extra sand in the glass. <laughs> You're just jealous of me, Dorothy. You know it, I know it, and Rose knows it, don't you, Rose? It's neat the way the tape's a different color. At the... <laughs> Ma, come home. I'll come home when I'm good and ready. Look, Ma, you have been sick, and I know what's best for you. Now I'm taking you home, and nothing is going to stop me. Damn it. Should have known it was you. Please, Mr. Porter, I can handle her. You haven't been able to handle her so far. Maybe I can handle her. Who are you having a problem with? You. <laughs> Rose, are you okay? I'm fine. Never better. In fact, I'm so fine that I've decided not to even get my results. Oh, now, Rose. Oh, no. look at all this stuff for the celebrity auction. Linda Evans, come. Gentlemen at table five in the blue suit is impotent. Bon appetit. <laughs> you remember Blanche and my Aunt Dorothy? Yeah. Yeah, so nice, nice to see, to see you see again. You. Yeah. 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 
Sophia, you look enchanting. If I wasn't such a gentleman, I'd try to ply you with wine and take it. Didn't go tonight. Who needs the crowds, the hassle? You're sounding old, pussycat. It's not a hearing aid that makes you old. It's what you're becoming by not getting one. Think of what you're missing, all the things I hear. The birds singing, the wind in the trees, the sound of the ticker tape telling you Xerox has gone up to... God! Oh, well, he is my all-time favorite TV actor. Oh, I cannot believe that I am actually going to meet Patrick Vaughn. Oh, I've had a crush on him for years. He is the sexiest actor on TV. I hate to admit it, but he melts my hagen dazs <laughs> Brings you guys to Miami. Wait a minute. I'll bet this has something to do with the St. Olaf Woman of the Year Award. Oh, no wonder she's a finalist. Yeah. Did I win? Not yet. A lot will depend on verifying the facts in this year's biography. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Harry, it's not just the disruption to my life. It's seeing him do nothing with his. Look, Stanley, you took him in. Now it is your problem, and you are going to have to deal with it. You're right. There's only one thing I can do, and it's the hardest thing in the world. You're going to ask Michael to leave your home? No. I'm going to ask you to ask Michael to leave my home. Door. March! Oh, all right. All right. I'm going. <laughs> but if anything awful happens, it's on your heads. Oh, she's really upset. A hangover from the sherry. Ma, you gave the dog sherry? That's terrible. I was having a few sips while I was rinsing out my underwear. <laughs> it's a little thing I do Mondays and Thursdays only. Anyway, the dog walks in, looks up at me, and I swear it's your Uncle Aldo's face begging me for a drink. Here, I'll go back to Brooklyn. My family is there, my grandkids. And I miss the old neighborhood. And... I'll stay here in Miami. Ever since I lost my Sal, the ladies I live with are my family. But that doesn't mean we can't get together occasionally for, you know. I don't get it, Blanche. This isn't like you. Come on. Gary calls at the last minute, cancels your date. You're not the least bit upset or suspicious. Well, don't they give me some credit? What kind of person would doubt a man whose mother needs emergency gallbladder surgery? <laughs> you are getting married in the Bahamas? This is fabulous. I always wanted to go to the Bahamas. Uh -huh. Now, where the hell are my culottes? <laughs> oh, Kate, Kate, honey, I have always dreamed of giving you a wedding ever since I had your overbite fix. Mom, don't you think it would be a little... How did you ever pull that off? <laughs> I work in the public school system. It's not that different from this. Oh, Blanche, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Oh, I apologize. No, don't you worry about it. I think we're all on edge. Oh, yeah. This has to be the biggest disappointment of my life. Yes. Yeah. She makes me crazy. She's always putting down my way of life, my, my choice of career. She's never been there for me when I've needed her. Never. And all she ever talks about is how much money she has. Dorothy. There's upsetting news. She's broke. She invested all her money in junk bonds, and now she's broke. She has no money? <laughs> no, you don't have any clothes on. Tell me about it. I just walked ten blocks. I got a belly button full of tweed. <laughs> well, what the hell happened? In the middle of bingo, Maury Heseltine sits down. He's the big practical joker at the center. Believe me, Howie Mandel is for all under a little stress here. Now, I have an idea. How about lunch and a movie? My treat. Why not? I still have another 52 hours to kill. Oh, this is rough. I feel terrible. Yeah, I really feel guilty. Jamie Foss' dress did come. I just remembered where I put it. Where? How do I... It's to Rose, but I'm glad she wasn't here when I dropped by today. What a sweet thing to say. That must be why I date more than she does. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant what I said about that diet of yours. Men of our generation like a little meat on their women. <laughs> Maybe uh, you don't want to pinch an inch, but I do. <laughs> but I can't. Every morning when I wake up, it's still there. And that terrifies me. Rose, I do need your help. 
That's why I came to Miami, to ask you to come home with me. Oh, Rose, please, come home with me. Stuff, a captain of the cheerleading squad. When the day came, we had to perform in front of the entire school, and Charmaine was fantastic. She twirled those batons so fast, she looked like a DC-3 coming in for a landing. <laughs> then it was my turn. So I did some cartwheels and only fell once. I did a handstand. Warm under the covers, and I opened my eyes, and there was Baby fast asleep at the foot of the bed, like a sweet angel. <laughs> that is sweet. Rose, how long do you think it'll be before the pig is dead? Did the baby do something wrong? Oh, no. You know, with the city's new toll booth. But before he could step out of the way, he was run over by ten Shriners on minibikes. <laughs> who just happened to have the exact change. So many of our great leaders have gone that way. There's a story in the paper about the party tonight. Really? You won't can turn right around and spit in your face. I'm sorry, Ma. Few months, huh? That should give me enough time to finish the scarf. <laughs> as well as I get along with those kids, they need you. They're growing up without you, Richard, and it's hurting them. Right now, the most important thing should be the children. Not... not getting married. And not Gresham on the coast. And not trying to squeeze in a week for a honeymoon. Oh. And without Hare Krishna's asking for money. <laughs> there were people everywhere, rushing off to catch trains, sitting on benches, browsing in the souvenir shop. The souvenir shop? Well, of course, Blanche. They were all buying T-shirts, you know, the ones that say, today is the first day of the end of your life. <laughs> and baggies for me to bring back hors d'oeuvres. You're wearing a girdle. Yeah, and padded shoulders. Is my head sweating? No. Uh, Stan, the reason I came... Is the uh, wedding still on? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> He's right. Why wouldn't it be? Dorothy, come on. Let's go powder our noses before the ceremony. Stan wanted to. You mean she has the energy, just not the desire. Exactly. You know, her mother lived to be 94 and was active right up until the very end. I remember when Grandma was in a wheelchair, she was on the go from morning till night. Mm. But she always had time to talk to her grandchildren. Gee, if I close my eyes, I can... I Told can... me you were engaged. What happened? The war happened. Augustine went off to fight, and I never heard from him again until today. I wonder why he looked you up after all this time. Are you kidding? He was crazy about me. I was the only girl in the village who didn't want to be a nun. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. They aren't here anymore. Let's go check our rooms. Oh, I just thank God they didn't take my Chinese vase. Oh, I'm going to check the kitchen. Wait, don't leave me. What'll I do if they come back? Show them your slides of Hawaii. <laughs> Place his. His dog lifted his leg on an electric fence. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sparky. <laughs> to show him how sorry I am, I'm going to go to the pound and get him another pet. Uh, Rose, I really think... Girls, the rough cut of my documentary is done. I want you to see it. Where's Blanche? Where she's been for the past two days, locked in her room, crying. I can't believe she's still upset because her college classmates look better than she does. I can. I tell you, her looks have always been very important to Blanche. Blanche is... What do you say? No. <laughs> okay, make it 100, but no monthly report. Goodbye, Stanley. Well, why don't I just wait outside, give you a few minutes to think this over. Fine, fine. If he's still here in the morning, let's give him coffee, okay? <laughs> it's a nightmare. We've been visited by the yachts of Christmas Path. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, I just want to make sure that you're okay. Do I have to play hardball? David Dellinger. How can you say I look younger and more beautiful over the telephone? No, it's true. I just wondered how you knew over the telephone. <laughs> You're kidding. That's great. Okay, I'll see you.
see you Friday at four. Bye-bye. Oh, this is so exciting. Big Daddy's going to be here on Friday. Says he has a big surprise. <laughs> I was happy to see you here tonight, Rose. I was starting to wonder how you felt about me. Rose, is there something wrong? You've hardly said a word. Uh, I'm not falling for those big, sad eyes and floppy ears and wet nose. The last time I did it ended in divorce. <laughs> and Stan couldn't even catch a frisbee in his teeth. <laughs> oh, listen. Honey, it's, it's not a personal thing. Now, I don't hate you. As a matter $200. Sold. <laughs> when would you like the services? Gee, I don't know. Well, how about Thursday night? Thursday night? Are you crazy? Not Thursday, hell no. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> the Cosby Show. <laughs> how about Friday? You have a TV guide we could check? <laughs> you doing? Sound like you were quite a pistol back in high school. Well, I'll bet you had a nickname. Mm, I sure did. Tell her what it was, Rose. <laughs> oh, no, it, it was your nickname. You tell her. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was Skipper. Yep. Doc says you got to take a little ride out to the sun deck. Great. Who wants to drive? I'll do it. It's nice not to be a passenger in one of these things for a change. <laughs> I want you to tell me the whole story all over again from the beginning. From the beginning. Yeah, from the time that you met when you were walking across the... Dorothy. What I... This is just the operator. Your phone is working fine. <laughs> Ma, what did you hear? You're never going to believe what happened. You are never going to believe what happened. Yakamura decided not to buy the house. What happened? Oh, well, he went on a shopping spree and he spent all his money. He bought a dump. Me too. Besides, spending all your time with Sophia isn't really helping her, Dorothy. She needs to get out there and meet her own friends. I'm not going. She needs me. Dorothy, please give this thing you're doing some thought. Raymond is such a great guy and he's been more than reasonable. And he's the only man who hasn't dumped you after the first date and bother you one more time. Ten packs is all I can give you. I told you that on the plane. Oh, I just want to know which way to the baggage plane. Oh. Oh, thank you. And thanks again for the wings. <laughs> Rose, I knew that was you. Lily! Oh, honey, what are you doing here? There's nothing I can do, so get that look out of your eye and let go of your hand. I'm so excited. I just got a big bonus at work. Ah. And guess what I've decided to do with it? What? what? I'm going to have my breasts enlarged. <laughs> it's so hard to know what to leave here and what to put in storage. What are you doing, Rose? Oh, I was just going through the change. Well, that explains the puffiness. <laughs> Right, that's it. I'm sick of this. I am not puffy. And there's no similarity between me and the Pillsbury dough. The reason they were so expensive was he had used all imported meats and cheeses. <laughs> you know, that story still tickles me just as much as the first time Charlie told it to me. It just amazes me how much you know about my life with Charlie. Rose. A steam shovel hit him in the mouth. <laughs> I was so happy to see a familiar face. Well, at least from the nose up. <laughs> right. Anyway, Uncle Johansson asked to see my ticket. And he said, whoa, whoa, this is a box. The box? What box? Oh. <laughs> it completely slipped my mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, that kind of thing happens to me all the, uh, all the, uh, all the shrimp you can eat. <laughs> Nice try, Mom. Let's talk about... I, I'm so sorry that I dragged her out on the cord and made her run back and forth so hard. I wish it had been me instead of her because it's all my fault. 
We might as well take down that banner and put up one that says, Welcome to the Dorothy Kiltrudy Party! <laughs> Be coy, I could drop hints, but I'm past that. Jamie, when George died, I began to feel incomplete. I tried to find what was missing. I, I tried to find it in another man. Men. On the snare drum. Uh. I was agreeing. Oh, Blanche, how was the concert? It is amazing how music that loud can be so boring. And Miles? Oh, even more boring than the music. All he did all night was talk about you. How sweet Rose is. How I married again, I'd want a picture of my new husband. <laughs> and the candlesticks Mama gave me. Rose, and it's a coffin, not a condo. <laughs> This is a very depressing conversation. Well, I want a fancy funeral. I want a big parade with a riderless horse. Order, we got a weapon and we got one suspect with no alibi. Blanche Devereaux, I'm charging you with murder. You have the right to wait, remain... Wait, wait! Why would she bring a steak knife to what she thought was a romantic liaison? It could have been for anything. I'm not familiar with her sexual proclivities. What are you, a rookie? Well, period. Some things never change. I'm going to go through with it. Well, good for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and thank you for listening to me. Oh, Victor. Come on. Let's get a table. There's something I have to tell you. <laughs> and what does that do to the morale of our boys overseas? <laughs> News girls, I've gained four pounds. <laughs>
Well, you are aware that it's a two-seater. It's not much of a family car. Oh? How long have you and your wife been practically separated? Oh, honey. No, I know it's a very important vegetable to you, but I'm really stuffed. And stick your finger in it. <laughs> Come on, I don't... I'm sorry. I am so sorry. <sighs> yeah. It can be awkward. I thought I could do it. I really did, and then I couldn't. I... You see, it would have been the first time since my husband died. Ab, uh, it's product testing. I will give you a test to do at home. You will bring in the results, and I will see how you do. But I must warn you, both Enrique Mas and Enrique Mas demand that the results be accurate in every detail. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Mas. <laughs> you can call me Enrique. <laughs> no, I don't think I can. <laughs> Did it to make you happy. Sarah, dear, can't we just be together, the two of us? I feel so guilty for leaving you. Don't. I'll be along soon enough. It's up to her father. Oh, I tried talking to him. He won't answer his phone calls or the messages that I leave in his mailbox. First, he lets his dog eat Ida, now this. <laughs> I'm mad as hell. Let's go over there. No, Ma, Ma, I don't think you should go. This is a very sensitive situation, and it's going to take a little patience. Uh, so Thurber, I don't believe I quite understand your problem. Well, then I guess I don't have a problem. Mr. Thurber, this is a crisis center. I'm a trained counselor. I've <laughs> been working since 1904. Besides, they have a category for people over 80. I think it's a terrific idea. Maybe we ought to join. We already did. What did you say? I said we already did. Rose, I work all week. The last thing I want to do is walk 10 miles on a Saturday. We won't be walking. We're going to sit. We can start by ruling out the obvious. Does Sophia have any friends who are, or ever have been, circus fire eaters? No. Would she like to meet some? Dorothy, don't you worry. Now, we'll get to the bottom of this. Lord knows we've worked our way out of tight spots before. It seemed to go against everything she'd been taught. You're doing beautifully, Rose. <laughs> he begged and he begged, and by her coffee break, she couldn't stand it anymore. So she pulled the plug and he died. Well, she was racked with guilt that night. Not only had she parked her car in a doctor's spot. <laughs> Rhode Island. <laughs> He's filling in for Willard Scott on the Today Show. It seems Willard ate some bad scallops on the air that he got through the mail. <laughs> he wandered over to the critics' corner and lost his cookies on Gene Shaft. <laughs> Gene thought it was because Willard... <laughs> Especially after they sawed a hole and went salmon fishing in the middle of the local ice skating rink. <laughs> And then there was the Halloween they gave all the kids whale blubber. <laughs> and then there was the time they borrowed every ice tray in town to build an addition over their garage. I've done this before. By the way, we'll be staying with you until the business gets off the ground. <laughs> well, what happens if the business fails? We'll have to talk about a nightlight for the bathroom. <laughs> With this heat wave we're having, he's got them stacked up like firewood in all four locations. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi. Is she here yet? Who, Rose? My sister. I left you a note on your bathroom mirror. 
Why did you leave a note on my bathroom mirror? Because it was the only one that had enough steam. <laughs> now, now, what are we going to do about Emily? Dorothy, nobody can do a better job of raising this baby than we can. Fine, fine. But if she's going to stay another couple of days, we better get some more diapers and some food. I'm thawing some pork chops. Honey, <laughs> she only has two teeth. How's she supposed to eat a pork chop? My Uncle Lester had only one tooth and he... No soul. This was after I bought her beef sticks and spreadable cheese from Hickory Farms. <laughs> Rose, everywhere you look, the rich take advantage of the poor. How can you deny there are inequities in this society? Well, sure, there are inequities. Dear Rose... Just wanted to let you know baby arrived safely. Hmm. He was really happy to be back on the farm. Uh. <laughs> His last 36 hours on this good earth were... What? <laughs> what? Baby died. Poor baby. <laughs> Rose, Blanche, this is the part where my good friends are supposed to shut off the TV and run after me. So either shut off the TV or I'm going to hurl it through the window. <laughs> Thank you. I'm touched. How you holding up, Dorothy? Had to marry her. But why would she marry a guy like that? Because I was young. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rose. This is your story. Go, go on. Go on. Well, anyway, after 38 years of marriage and a painful divorce, he I cursed in the difference between boys and girls. I knew the time had come, but I kept putting it off. Finally, I decided it was time to take the bull by the horns. So you told her? No, I took the bull by the horns, turned him around, and showed her what makes a bull a bull. Later, when the baby came, then I figured out that we had. You know, that was my only proof. I waited till my wedding night. <laughs> No. Yes. And? And it was a surprise. It'll help, Rose. Of course we'll do oh, it. Oh, thank you. You are the best friends I've ever had. Now, before I lose the nerve, I better make the plane reservations. Did she say plane reservations? I thought her aunt lived in Fort Lauderdale. She did, Big Mouth, but she's being buried in the Bahamas where she spent her winters. Damn. Outside that we can't do right here. You promised us we could pee in the woods. <laughs> Get away from that couch. <laughs> I have an idea. Who's in the mood for some real camp out food? I have beans. I have. Let go when Grammy died. The family had to sell Grandview and it got turned into an old bed and breakfast, but at least I could visit and have breakfast. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. <laughs> Pancakes by the looks of it. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. Honey, you know, we'd go with you if it would help, but... but... Oh, what an absolutely charming woman. I wonder what this is she gave me. I'll bet it's a love potion. Oh, Rose, come on, honey. There's no such thing as a love potion. Sure there is, Dorothy. My grandparents got together because of a love potion. Well, actually, it was a foot salve Gramps accidentally swallowed. It feels so... so undesirable. Oh, honey, we all have at some point. I know, Blanche, not you. <laughs> no, I remember when Stanley and I were going through this. We tried everything. Relaxation techniques, hypnosis. I fed the man so many oysters when he passed... <laughs> Ma, it's getting late. Do you have to stay and visit with every one of them? Excuse me for trying to get more involved in their lives. Well, that's fine, Ma, but did we really have to worm Mrs. Jenkins' dog? <laughs> I always just leave this one outside the door. Really? It's been that way since I took over. Within the next couple of months, they're going to have to do that. You know, Dorothy, people think if you live to be my age, you should be grateful just to be alive. Well, that's not how it works. You need a reason to get up in the morning, and sometimes even after you find one, life... I think he was talking to you. Oh. Oh. I'm having a little trouble putting this all together. Please. I, I just feel like I don't know you anymore. 
I'm the same person. I always was. No, you're not. You used to be just like me. What? Great looking? Yeah, say, Silas Marna, Paul Bunyan, nothing. You know nothing. People from Minnesota are considered well-read if they get through the Sears catalog. <laughs> Give me back my book. This is why Hollywood won't get it either. I will not have my words coming out of Glenn Close's mouth. I'd rather die. It looks like it's going to be a long night. What are you doing here? You were operated on. You're my daughter. Where else would I be? How long have you been here? Since they took you to surgery, I haven't left the room. Not for a newspaper, not for food, not for a cold drink. All day I've been right here. Oh, no. oh they pay for everything. But what a prize! <laughs> Andy, let's go for it, Rose. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> We're not just getting married because of the contest, are we? Oh, no, no. Oh, sweetheart, no. I, I'm marrying you because I love you. I mean, the prize. Talking about the brass bed. I shouldn't have kept it. Rose was right. It's just like stealing. Then call the store and return it. Oh, I can't do that. I've had it over three weeks. They won't take it back. How much wear can you give a bed in just three weeks? <laughs> I see your point. <laughs> Just afraid of starting all over at my age. My daughter's checking me into a, a lovely retirement home called Shady Pines. <laughs> That's great. Come on out to the lanai and I'll give you the lowdown on Shady Pines. You know, who does what for cigarettes? <laughs> We're gonna go on national television in clothes we slept in all night. It'll look like hell. We'll be exhausted. We won't be able to answer any questions. Oh. Would you stop complaining? We've got it easy. Back in Sicily, I was on a game show. It was torture. What was it called, Sophia? I just told you, torture. <laughs> Mussolini asked the question. By the way, did you girls know that the size of a man's ears is directly proportionate to the size of his other bodily organs? Ma, Shady Pines happens to be a beautiful retirement village. Yeah, right, and Molly Safer just happened to wander in there by mistake. <laughs> oh, oh, Dorothy, oh. we have great news. You are never going to guess who we got to star in this year's production at the Community Theater. Oh, Blanche, please, you say that ever. If you knew now what I knew then, ah, uh, so what? If you've got something to say, spit it out, Weinstock. Don't push me or I will. <laughs> there I push. Too bad you weren't on a flight of stairs. Ma, Ma, you're creating a scene. Look, that was a long time ago. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Say, um, why don't you uh, tell me about this automobile thing again? Say, uh, tonight over dinner? Oh, no. Blanche Devereaux is a very charming, attractive woman. Yes, she is. Shall I pick you up around 7.30? Oh, I feel terrible about this. Let's say 8 o'clock. <laughs> I'll wipe it off. Tomorrow, I'll be in a wheelchair. Good night, Pop. Good night. <laughs> Keep it up. I'll be the drama mean. Oh, do you see that I don't need anybody's help? <laughs> It would be unsouthern. That's a good bell. <laughs> Get the door. Shrimp. <laughs> Not perfect. John is everything Tom was, and he's smart, mature, responsible. And on time. Would you girls keep him entertained for a minute? I want to make sure I look perfect before he sees me. 
Hello. Hi, I'm John Quinn. Hi, I'm Rose, Blanche's roommate. Hi, Rose. <laughs> Won't you go? I mean, it's as if she doesn't care about my knees just because she's a lot younger than I am. Fine, keep your damned earrings. <laughs> oh, no, no, Blanche, not you, Abby. Oh, right. I was thrown by the, she's a lot younger than you part. <laughs> so what should I do? Rose, I know this is a long shot, but uh, did you take much acid during the 60s? You mustn't rush into anything, Blanche. You hardly know him. I just wonder what my husband George would think about me and Harry. Well, if he was alive, he probably would not like it. <laughs> but since he's dead, I don't think it poses a problem. Well, I just want him to know that I'm happy, but that I could never be... Wasn't well, this in my time? <laughs> when I see he is holding a machine gun, so I decide to take his advice. I move, right at that, that everybody's falling like flies on your Aunt Regine. You're letting your imagination run wild, Papa. This is Chicago, not Sicily. You're just a little... <laughs> my heart is pounding in my ears. But then again, it always pounds in my ears. <laughs> I could see the finish line. It was only two, three hundred yards away. And then it happened. What every runner dreads, I hit the wall. Uh, ma, you ran out of steam. No, I actually hit a wall. Oh, you ran. Oh, no, no, no. I oh, you oh, oh, girls, what's the difference? The important thing is we're all friends again. Maybe you're all friends again, but not me. I don't forgive, I don't forget, and I'm prone to growing moles. I can't help it, I'm Italian. <laughs> And I'm telling you, the winning mother and daughter are 98 and 77. <laughs> if either one of them forgets to take a nitroglycerin even once, <laughs> Dorothy and I are going to be cutting ribbons at Piggly Wiggly. Yeah. <laughs> but the big news is we beat Gladys Cop. Let's get out of here. Ma, we have to pay our respects to the family. And listen, if you see Max, I don't want you making another one thing out. While I was giving Sonny the evil eye, I noticed he was kind of cute. So I decided to work in a little kiss of death, too. <laughs> well, that livened him up, and we spent a very pleasant afternoon. Oh. <laughs> Ma, you are incredible. Those were Sonny's words again. Trip, but I was hoping that uh, you might let me invite you to lunch tomorrow. That is, if you're free. Oh, that would be wonderful. And if you have time, I'd like to show you around Miami. I'll pick you up around noon. Great. Ladies, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting yeah, you. Class. Rose, you're... Good night, George. Girls, I have some bad news. I am not going to be able to go with you. Why not? It's Ma. She's she's sick. I'm going to have to take oh. her to the hospital. Dora. Oh, no. Well, wait a minute. She she left for that cooking contest about ten minutes ago. Yeah, she called. She had a bad cannoli when she got there. <laughs> right now, she is doubled over with cramps. She has a cramp, you pea brain. All that money, and we only went twice. Can you believe it? What are you cooking now, Ma? A Petrillo family delicacy. Double fudge, amaretto, ricotta cheesecake. What's in it? <laughs> this cake is... <laughs> I'm upset about Dorothy and Blanche. Oh, me too. Who'd believe that they'd break up their friendship over a man? It happens. What can we do? Nothing. This isn't meant to impress you. This is just to get you tipsy. Oh, Richard, you rascal. <laughs> you know, I've made a lot of money. And I've seen a lot of the world. But there's still one thing in my life that's missing. 
What? Someone to share it with. I was hoping. This is horrible. What will I wear? I don't believe I have a thing that doesn't call attention to my bosom. <laughs> Try not wearing makeup. <laughs> Ma, do you actually think that the Pope makes house calls? He will this time. I made it crystal clear. Oh, um, I have to let it out. <laughs> I'd like to teach the world to sing perfect harmony. I'd like, like to, to hold it in our arms and keep it company. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, ladies, how about a mic pack? Oh, where have you been? You remember when Rose said toys when no one was looking? When I come to pick you up, I figure you're going to say you never want to go to school again. But what do you tell me? You love it. You made a new friend named Debbie. <laughs> Ma, what the hell does this have to do? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. How did you know what happened? I mean, if the... On your own sister. I'm not turning my back on you. I love you. I'm just trying to do what I think is best for you. What you think is best? What do you know about being blind? Oh, Lily, th th this is very painful for me. Please don't make it any harder than it already is. I'm sorry, Rose. I'm sorry. I promise I won't ever ask you for anything again. All right, I'll see you in a week. Now, I'll call myself Collect tonight and you'll tell them I'm not home and that way you'll know I arrived. Call your own sister. I'm not turning my back on you. I love you. I'm just trying to do what I think is best for you. What you think is best? What do you know about being blind? Oh, Lily, th th this is very painful for me. Please don't make it any harder than it already is. I'm sorry, Rose. I'm sorry. I promise... Your grief? <laughs> I think so. But... You know what would make me feel even better than this? What? A, a kiss. A New Year's Eve kiss. Oh, I don't know. In memory of my late wife. <laughs> when you put it that way, I... Uh, did you call about buying the Citrus Festival plate? Yes, I did. Oh, Rose, you're beautiful. How much do you want for it? Well, they're pretty rare. There's only five of these. I'd say $2,000. $2,000 a plate? What is this, a Republican fundraiser? Look, these plates are collector's items. All the stories around here. Picture it. Brooklyn, April, 1956. Two and a half years. Fine. That's the way you feel? Sophia, I'm staying right here. Fine. Stay there forever, you big budge of galoop. I cursed the day I ever met you. Double! Ma, it's me, Doc. <laughs> I was talking about patience. Rose, just tell Ernie that sex is not the most important part of a relationship. Just ask anybody married to an Englishman. <laughs> I'm gonna call Ernie right now. I think we have a lot to talk about. Well, maybe Billy could have, but Billy couldn't play, and we all know why. I don't want to mention any names. Follow my eyes. <laughs> Okay, that's it for practice today. Everybody get a good night's sleep. Coach Dorothy, can to the wedding. <laughs> Doug. Got an anesthesiologist, but you won't feel anything. <laughs> Doug. All right, Doug. But listen, don't you forget, you be careful. This man is on loan from the Blanche Devereaux collection. <laughs> Success. It could give me a shot at becoming Kendall Nesbitt's new assistant. Who's Kendall Nesbitt? Oh, he's the museum's director of acquisitions. If I got this job, it would mean going to Europe with him to look for rare paintings and antiques. Well, if he has an eye for antiques, you should be a shoo-in. <laughs> Why are you so cranky today? I'm not cranky. I'm gassy. <laughs> I had one of those Weight Watchers broccoli or gratins for lunch. Boy, that stuff's murder. I'm surprised Lynn Redgrave has a friend in the world. Hey, Cindy, why don't I buy you a drink? Or even better, let's both get naked. Why, that is a great idea. And I would say yes in a minute, but I thought you had a girlfriend. 
Oh, we have an understanding, honey. <laughs> I don't tell her I'm fooling around and stick around a while. Get rid of him. I think he's coming down with the flu. Oh, who cares? Don't explain, Rose. I used to live with a couple of bitches myself. <laughs> going to be in the play. Why don't you play Turkey Lurkey? Oh, oh, come on. No, 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 no. no that, that's out of the question. Why? You'd be perfect. Turkey Lurkey was your nickname in high school. No, it was not. Really? That's what they called you at the PTA. <laughs> come on. Dorothy, you're gonna send me to an early... You got one of these right. <laughs> no, Rose, THE Abbott. He told me I had to choose between the church and your mother. I chose God. I think I have his forgiveness. Now, more than anything, I'd like your forgiveness. I don't know. Stone, you might as well know the truth. Brooklyn, 1949. We were sitting at this table playing a spirited game of gin. Oh. <laughs> That's four in a row tonight, you lucky night, Sal. I hope that'll continue once we get home. <laughs> <laughs> the man buys a new T-shirt, trims the hair out of his... <sighs> I had a nice time tonight, Blanche. You know I did, too. And I wasn't sure I would, if you want the truth. What? Well, this may sound funny, but uh, I kept thinking... Here I am, you know, so bald and so heavy, and what if I show up and Blanche looks just... Gonna have a baby. And if it's a boy, she can name it after its father, Rick Joe Bob Don Dave. <laughs> I don't get it. We've done everything to get them in the mood. Music, soft lighting. What else can... The wonderful idea. He'll bring in his own crew to help finish the job. At no additional charge. <laughs> Why would he want to do it for free? Because he's seen on as a doorknob and stop asking questions. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Al, what are you doing here? Rose, I did a lot of thinking about what you said the other night. And... I can't remember when I had so much fun. We went dancing at the beachcomber. We're going to go back again tomorrow night. Oh, Jeffrey doesn't dance. He says it makes his ankles swell. <laughs> Honey, I think it's terrific that you had a good time tonight. I have you two to thank for it. <laughs> good night. Good night. Sweet. Yeah, real sweet. What's that supposed to mean? It means that ever since he made a fortune on that baked potato open, he's been coming on to you like gangbusters. And I don't like it. Not that I've ever actually seen gangbusters. But I did see ghostbusters. I didn't like that either. <laughs> I mean, they couldn't give the black... Believable, but please, go along with it, okay? I mean, do it for me. If it means that much to you, pussycat, you got it. Oh, thanks. Now remember, not a word. <laughs> so what's all this crap about you putting a curse on my door? <laughs> Don't trouble yourselves, I'll get it. How did you know your mother was cheating, uh, Dorothy? Because Mr. Feinbaum never walks around totally naked. <laughs> he always wears a Boy Scout neckerchief. <laughs> but never in the same place twice. Everybody, I want you to meet my friend, Tommy Cochran. Sit down, Tommy. Tommy's a writer. According to the New York Times, he is the most exciting new novelist to come along since Mr. Norman Mailer. We met in the park last week. I was sitting there reading Tommy's latest book, and he came over and offered to autograph it. Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. <laughs> Good. I've already got that box checked on this form. <laughs> Now, in this case, we've done most of the research at the base, so I just have a couple of routine questions to follow up. What are you talking about? She was lonely. You're out of beer, too. You're out of peanut butter? Hell, George, you better get her back. I'm gonna starve to death. <laughs> oh, Dorothy! 
What a nice surprise. For well, you, maybe. George, I wanted to talk to you. Do I detect a note of hostility? A note? How about a symphony? <laughs> Russell, come back! Russell, come back here! Come back here! I have to leave. Are you in pain? I will be if my wife catches me and she... Yeah, but at least Dorothy's pregnancy was an accident. My daughter did it on purpose. Anne went to a sperm bank. A sperm bank. <laughs> Just the very idea of a bank having sperm. <laughs> at least the government didn't have to bail them out. <laughs> well... Ma, I mean it. Lighten up. I told you before, I only want a license to have, not to use. It's a symbol of my freedom, my independence. Now, give me $50. <laughs> what for? A guy named Paco makes these babies up in his garage. Oh. <laughs> 84 doesn't have a hair on his head or a real tooth in his mouth, and his body's covered with liver spots. <laughs> to answer your question, he's adorable. <laughs> costume I got for the masquerade ball. I can't decide whether to be the front end or the rear end. <laughs> I'm a... You celebrate your way, I'll celebrate mine. <laughs> Dorothy, livestock don't get chauffeur-driven limousine rides to fancy four-star restaurants and the symphony afterwards. Except during St. Olaf Bicentennial. <laughs> Rose, I am not going. It is degrading. Dorothy, come on now. Don't be a stick in the mud. It's for the children's hospital. Rose? I don't know. Oh, uh, honey, please. We're really sorry. Well, I might forgive you, but I can't speak for baby. Is there something we can do to, to smooth things over? Well, a kiss on the... Leave the door open. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Cleaver. Hey, girls. Gee, what's my diary doing here? Next to a pair of pliers. <laughs> there wasn't anything anyone could do. No one's ever beat it, Sophia. But someday they will, and it could be tomorrow, and it could be you. I believe that, and you're going to believe that. Because right now, today, that's all we got. Hope. And a nectarine. And a nectarine. Advantage of you. There's a liquor store on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> no, she can't drink. It mixes with her medication. Beautifully. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Yeah, it seems like only yesterday I was putting her into the home. <laughs> Oh, come on, help me with these. We have to meet Holly at the movies in 10 minutes. Okay. I am so mad I could spit. Rose, what happened? It's Holly. Those directions she gave me for meeting you guys for lunch were totally wrong. Oh, come on now, Rose. You don't think she did that to you on purpose? Well, I do. I'm down. I might as well get used to it. <laughs> Dear Mr. Gorbachev, my name is Rose Nyland. I'm writing to you because I'm really worried about nuclear war. I hear there are enough bombs to blow up the world a hundred times, and it scares me. It scares the girls in my cadet troop, too. They talk about what they want to... One of my favorite plays. Frankly, I was a little disappointed. Hey, really? Yeah, when you told me you were taking me to a revival of Tennessee Williams, I was expecting something more along the lines of a seance. <laughs> Rose, I have never met anyone like you. Check the cornfield on Hee Haw. <laughs> Who made it stick? <laughs> Don't worry, Dorothy. Maybe Jimmy will come around. Oh, I wish I could believe you, but Rose, I have been there. I mean, after a while, you feel you're just in this gigantic black hole. We had a gigantic black hole back in St. Olaf. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yes, this is Blanche, and how did you get this number? And better yet, why am I even talking to you? I don't like you. Matter of fact, I hate you. You can just tear up my number and... Biggest mistake I ever made. 
You're right, Aunt Dorothy. You can't trust people. Joey just told me about some of the things that went on in his bachelor party. Bachelor parties can be fun. Aunt Blanche? Aunt darling, you look lovely. I thought you had to work. You told me you had a last-minute emergency. <laughs> so they're all liars. That's an asset when you're planning a surprise like this. Come on, we've got reservations for dinner and dancing. Ma, I bet you were in on this all along, weren't you? Of course I was. These Dimwitz idea of romance is a Coors Light and a Love Boat rerun. All right, let's go. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I know it's awful, but I have this incredible sweet tooth. What is it? Cheesecake. What kind? Chocolate. Oh, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Goodbye again. Bye, darling. Oh, Dorothy, I'm so glad things worked out. Oh, me too. Maybe you're not a grandmama yet, but you're still a darn good mama. And Kate's going to be a darn good mama, too, sometime. <laughs> Aren't you nice? <laughs> Do you like jazz? No, ma'am. I've always felt there was something about a man with a tray. <laughs> Is it warm in here? No, that's not very nice. Well, I'm trying to be nice. That's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> Why don't you all just sit there and get comfortable, and I'll make a nice pot of hot coffee. Which I'd like to pour right down his pants. Bunch, how can you let him talk to Becky that way? Dorothy's right. I haven't heard anyone insult someone in denial. <laughs> Look, Fluffhead. Why should I deny being in denial when I never said I was in denial? You are the one who said I was in denial, and don't you deny it. <laughs> Listen, Dorothy. It's a scary story, Rose. Well, why don't they call me? I want to get this over and go home. Rose, come here, honey. Come here, we need to talk. What, Blanche? Well, this is the kind of thing I tend to keep to myself, but I want you to know. I got tested, too, so I know what you're going through. Hope is not your father. He has no idea who you are, and he's not about to come anywhere near this place. That's not true. He's here in Miami. It's right in today's paper. Well, she's right. He is in a golf tournament here. Apology accepted. <laughs> Rose, what the hell are you? Our research shows the Japanese actually hate rice, but what they hate more is burning their fingers on baked potatoes. Anyway, Dorothy, a major Japanese distributor is arriving next week. Sborn Co. is throwing a big reception for him. I need a date. I want you to go with me. I'm sorry, Stan. There are other vegetables I'd rather... Arks. <laughs> when he finally cooled down, he realized that he loved me more than anything in the world, which was lucky for me because I never needed him more than I did then. I don't think that's going to happen with my dad. Oh, you never know. Fathers can surprise you sometimes. Hey, ladies, you're just going to have to wait this one out. Oh. Now, drink plenty of liquids, get lots of rest, and if you're not better by Monday, give me a call. Oh, I can't believe it. If modern science can come up with cinnamon dental floss, why can't they cure the flu? <laughs> modern science is overrated. Sometimes... <laughs> Then this morning, I woke up and I was in the shower shampooing my hair and I heard humming. Well, I thought there was someone in there with me. No, it was me. I was humming. And humming means I'm feeling good. And then I realized I was feeling good because of you. You made the difference. stuff I said about preparing for a burial, forget it. Oh, Ma, you finally came to your senses. Yes. <laughs> Me too, Sophia, because you I know said we quiet. <laughs> Girls, you will never believe what happened to me at the supermarket yesterday. 
Um, you were in a real hurry and you needed to go through the express line, but you had 25 items. So you went... But Dorothy, you're the one who's been talking about aging with dignity. Not for me, for her. <laughs> I mean, look at her. The woman is hundreds of years old. <laughs> She should be carbon dated. <laughs> but Dorothy, if the doctor Look, said... Look, I really... Uh, Hi, Gary, come on in. <laughs> I just wanted to drop off Blanche's earrings. They must have fallen off in my car the oh, other night. I'll get Blanche for you. She's in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, no, uh, don't do that. Uh, actually, there's something I want to talk to you about. What is it, Gary? Rose, I find you very attractive. <laughs> it's a little surprise. We're not visiting Lillian as much as we're breaking her out. What? We can't do that. I mean, that's wrong. What if we get caught? Lillian is a great friend. Will you do it, please? Well, okay. Good. I'll keep the staff busy. You get Lillian. <laughs> Can I just put you a nice glass of orange oh, juice? Oh, thank you. It was very nice of you. <laughs> oh, is this a dribble glass? Yeah. It works better when all that pulp doesn't clog up the dribble hole. <laughs> well, why did you do this? Maury Hesseltine. He won't quit with the practical jokes. I... <laughs> Rose, if you're really serious about going through with this, I suggest that you discuss it with Miles. I mean, he deserves to know the truth. I don't want to lie. Rose, you don't have to lie to Miles. Just don't tell him the truth. Turn this thing to your advantage. Now, if you hold Miles at work. What's wrong? I will tell you what's wrong. I took Rose here on my shoot today, and they want to use her hands. Imagine they want to use my face but her hands. Can you believe it? Scary campout story. Ooh, real scary. You want scared, kid? You keep it up. <laughs> my mother's a lawyer. Threaten me again and I'll own your house. <laughs> Your father's a doctor, your mother... I'm wearing his medical alert bracelet. <laughs> when did this start? Well, I have been allergic to penicillin ever oh, since... Oh, not that. <laughs> I mean the sick relationship. Por favor, let me explain. I still care for you deeply. I did not mean for this to happen, it just did. When I... To him, that feeling was the feeling of living in America. In America, you always felt like you were among friends. Mario, that's just beautiful. You should hear it when I read it. <laughs> hi, Rose. Oh, hi, Mario. How about a nice snack? Sure, I'm starving. But it doesn't belong. Just like that old dog Sandy we used to have. <laughs> God, your father loved that dog. <laughs> Can you believe that? After I bared my heart and soul to that woman. Oh, Dorothy, you hide things from her all the time. Yeah, but she doesn't know that. <laughs> no, it, I know it. But, oh, I'm going to miss you, honey. Oh, oh I'm, I'm going to miss, miss you. <laughs> I just love to watch you. Whoa! <laughs> Are there gifts? <laughs> Oh, by the way, I want to thank you for not saying I told you so. When you're as right as I am, you don't have to say it. <laughs> well, I finished unpacking. It's hard to get a life full of fun into a substitute teacher back. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> You're pulling my leg. <laughs> he picked you over me. Uh, listen, I hate... I don't think that's happened yet. Well, I don't know, but if I were you, I sure wouldn't wave goodbye. <laughs> and if I were you, I sure wouldn't jog without a moo-moo. Is that so? Well, just let me tell you something. Oh, Blanche, listen. please, let's not do this. Let's grow up, for God's sake. Well, what is it? Is anything wrong? No, everything's fine, really. Um... Why don't you just say goodnight to your friend and I'll meet you in the kitchen, okay? Uh, Aunt Blanche, wait. Um, 
I wasn't going to say goodnight to Ed. I was just stopping by to pick up a few things. What? Well, it was on the way. I'm in that new complex over on the lakefront. By the way, I'm Ed Cullen. Anybody want anything else? Oh, not me, thank you. I'm too upset to eat. I may never eat again. Blanche. Oh, you're right. I should keep up my strength. Dorothy, something with frosting. <laughs> Come here, sister, and give me a big hug. It's just a little late to be sharing a beautiful moment, don't you think? Where were you? That's nice. So you spent the evening at dinner. <laughs> No, we spent dinner at dinner. We spent the evening at a motel. A motel, Dorothy! A cheap, tawdry, bare bulb den of iniquity! <laughs> we didn't drive to Sodom and... What they want. <laughs> Mrs. Sensitive. You know, being here reminds me of my favorite Christmas back in 1951, which I spent at the USO, making a better Christmas for our boys getting ready to leave for court. Well, Dorothy, I'm ready to go to work. How do I look? Oh, um, uh, you look adorable. Adorable? I want to look aggressive, powerful, like a corporate killer. Lose the hat. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Now you look like the activities director at a retirement home. And, and they live in St. Olaf's? Yes. Oh, you, you must be very proud of them. <laughs> I am. So when was it you visited St. Olaf? Oh, Lord, it must be 50 years ago now. I went to a wedding. Okay, Ma, if this is what you really want to do... It's not what I want to do. It's what I have to do. Dorothy, today is my anniversary, and I barely remember getting married. You know, I hate getting old. You always seem to be losing something. First... It... Here we are. Oh, oh I love your home, Ma. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, honey, tell me, how's your modeling career been going? Well, to be honest, Mama, not too well lately. Mm. What have you been doing? You mean besides eating? Here, and I think he's interested. Oh, not another one. What am I going to do? Oh, Blanche, didn't you think this thing through? I mean, didn't you think these men would want to buy the car? No. I assumed once they saw me, they'd forget all about the car. <laughs> well, i got to do something to get their minds off that car. I know what I'll offer him some... So, uh, what's new? Hmm. Not much. You? Not much. My condolences on your husband's passing. Thank you. I've been in mourning 22 years. <laughs> My wife's been dead. To Pay dirt. <laughs> Well, are you going to do it? I, I haven't had time to make up my mind. Honey, don't dawdle. Now, men have a very short memory span when it comes to that question. Sometimes they forget before you can get your clothes back on. <laughs> oh, Dorothy Glenn is... Thanks. If I want to look at pictures, i got a photo mat. <laughs> Besides, Rose brought me. She's waiting outside with the dog. Hey, you ever stick your head out of a car window doing 50? What a rush! <laughs> Hello! And who do we have here? Uh, this is my enough already. I'm not going to play cards with you anymore. Why not? Why should I? You're the only one who gets any enjoyment out of it. Ah, cards bore me to tears. <laughs> then why do you play? I like the talking. The what? The talking. You and I had some of our best talks over a game of gin rummy. I don't know why. It just seemed... Ma, you're not fooling me. You feel bad because Mrs. Claxton didn't have anybody. Maybe I do and maybe I don't. What's it to you? Yeah, you're right. I'll chip in. All right, Sophia, count me in, too. Oh, Sophia, I think you're a wonderful person. It's a lovely idea to share Mrs. Claxton's funeral expense. Italian cook. Everybody's a comedian today. <laughs> Rose, uh, everything okay down at the counseling center? Yes, finally. We had a manic depressive overload. But luckily, Dr. Ferguson had heard some new knock-knock jokes, and that seemed to do the trick. Knock-knock? <laughs> Who's there? Oh, Goodbye, Rose. 
goodbye Blanche again. <laughs> it was my pleasure, ladies. Goodbye. Laszlo, I'll see you tomorrow. Indeed. That sure sounded as if you and Laszlo have something going. Maybe. Why you just nobody else but you? I was in love by you. <laughs> Tell you what, this. What is it? Rose's diary. What are you doing with it? It was just lying out on the dining room table. I picked it up and, and the lock just popped right open. Just like this. <laughs> Listen to this. Dear diary, I don't know how much longer I can stand it with animals. <laughs> Lucy's ready to leave. Come on and say goodbye. Oh, we'll be right there in Rosen Island. If you ever breathe a word of this to anyone, I swear I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, don't be silly. You couldn't even kill a little mouse. <laughs> That's because you can communicate with him. Oh, Dorothy, one word of caution. Uncle Nunzio, but we call the goat a pet. <laughs> anyway, Ma, I want you to drag out anything that'll jog your memory about the old days. You know, people in St. Olaf are lucky. We all have the same family tree. You can trace each of us back to the same brother and sister. <laughs> it says, touch my leg. <laughs> That's in case they miss the tattoo that says the same thing. Boy, my mother would kill me if I ever did that. She never wanted me to shave at all. By the time I got to high school, the kids had made up this really mean nickname. I've been subbing a gorgeous gym teacher. Well, I noticed him a few times, and today, as luck would have it, I found myself right behind him in the line in the cafeteria after I butted ahead of 25 students. <laughs> anyway, we started talking, and in 30 seconds... About, what, three years oh, ago... it seems like Stanley yes. Stanley oh, can't remember Sam... Oh, damn. What's the matter, pussycat? Uh, I can't balance my checkbook. Ah, oh, the hell with it. I'm only off by a few pennies. A few pennies? To you, it may not be much, but back in Sicily, a few pennies could make the difference between owning a gun and having to was there when you're down. And family stops at nothing, nothing to help one of their own. Blanche, I want my brother Angelo to come here and live with us. Oh, I'm sorry, Sophia, there's just no room. Hey, I tried. <laughs> Wait a minute, Dorothy, you're... Let him try my cupcakes. <laughs> How would that make you feel? I'd like to think I'd understand. Oh, good, good. I was hoping that's what you would say. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. It's just the idea of Miles wanting to... I'll tell you what won't work, honey. That's you and me here in the same office. Stealing that banquet from me was bad enough, but when you start hiding things from me, you have gone too far. If you want this job that bad that you have to lie and cheat and sneak around, then you can have it. I quit. Oh, good, you two are talking. We're not talking. I'm still furious with Ma for hooking me up with that matchmaker. That reminds me of a story about St. Olaf's most famous oh, matchmaker. Oh, please, Rose. Spare me the endless, inane details of how Heidi Flug and Dougal girl... No, I don't want to. I just hate bowling. All I ever wanted to do was look cute in my new outfit. We all look cute in your new outfit. <laughs> that does it. Tell Rose goodbye for me, will Have you? Have a wonderful time. And listen, don't forget to moan. Helps keep a man focused. Oh, God. Just like that. <laughs> now, Ma, you're going to do what Blanche tells you. Yeah. You're not going to give her any trouble. No. You're going to be Blanche's little helper. It's a symbol of freedom. This picture is a symbol of liberty. This picture was made in Taiwan. <laughs> Maybe they stopped off at the Ellis Island gift shop. <laughs> the point is, this picture is worth a considerable amount of money. Lady, that story is worth more than the picture.
this month. He couldn't set the handbrake on my wheelchair. Grandma, that was just a coincidence. Please, all three times was at the top of the stairs to the Flatbush subway station. <laughs> Mama, if Salvador hates you, why does he want you to come here and live with us? What? Salvador and I would like you to move in with us. Forget it. I am not moving in. What? <laughs> Ma, I have a feeling you're lying. Be positive, Dora. Okay, I'm positive you're lying. <laughs> this is terrible. Trick move from your checkers by mail partner? <laughs> no, it's from the company Charlie worked for. They've gone bankrupt and so is their... Ma, Ma, you promised you'd stay in your room until the meeting was over. Who am I, Alf? I was hungry You were spying So what? He's a wimp, Dorothy um, For your information, Gil Kessler is a very bright man An honest and devoted civic leader And probably the biggest wimp I've ever seen And he brought home a prize piglet Mr. Snuffle Exactly You're listening? <laughs> anyway, I loved Mr. Snuffles I watched him grow I suffered with him. The way Henrietta's brood made him feel like such an outsider. I'd give you one of my kidneys, but I'm sure you'd rather have one you can control. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. Welcome. Look, if you decide not... I, I feel so ashamed. Everything you said about me is true. I'm, I'm a loser. You're not a loser. You just need some help. Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Mrs. Nyland, I think a lot of... Send the word, send the word, to beware. We're, We're coming. coming. How's Blanche? She's fine. She'll be up and back on her back in no time. <laughs> Sophia is... But they shot him into a tree. <laughs> After that, no other herring would do. Oh. <laughs> You're making this up. I am not. My grandfather told me that story. <laughs> of course, he also used to call me by my sister's name. <laughs> babies and handing out corn at the rotary picnics <laughs> shut up rose so well uh, mama is it all right if i have my baby here well i only want what's best for you darling don't you want to have your baby with your obstetrician in your hospital in atlanta oh i'm not having my baby in a hospital tights unless he's got a butt like barishnikov <laughs> Dorothy, can I ask you a question? What do you think I ought to do with my bed? Put it in the Smithsonian, Blanche. <laughs> and it has more miles on it than the spirit of St. Louis. Away. <laughs> Every day of my life. All right, fine. I just thought maybe they'd have more fun going out together instead of hanging around here with me and three old ladies. Really, Rose? I always thought Churchill said that at Yalta. But the point is, some people you think are mean might just need a little kindness. And some people, like old lady Claxton, are just plain rotten. <laughs> well, I'm going to prove you're all wrong. Now, there's a week left before the county commissioner's meeting. I'm going to be as nice to fault. But what did I do? Well, you made us fire Marguerite, that's what, and now she's put a curse on us. Come on, now, you're just upset you're talking nonsense. Well, it makes perfect sense to me. I rest my case. <laughs> Dorothy, you have to admit terrible things have been happening since we fired Marguerite. Our plum... Red peppers, oregano, garlic, chicken fat, and lard. <laughs> Sophia swears it works every time. Now eat up. Oh, this is disgusting. 
What's disgusting? Your cure for the flu. <laughs> against these pillows. <laughs> Why don't we see what's keeping Trudy and Dorothy? Yeah, probably got caught. If you wait a couple minutes, I'll make you some sandwiches. Where are you going? I don't know. How are you getting there? You want color? Talk to Lena Horn. Here we are, Sophia. Homemade chicken soup. I used to make it for my husband when he wasn't feeling well. Did you make it for him the last time he wasn't feeling well? <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. Oh, I just happened upon the most divine dress sale. I would have called you... Dutch Schultz, Al Capone. Rocco, are you saying that you were in the mob? I ran Detroit. The marathon. He ran the Detroit marathon. <laughs> Come on, we're in the middle of a hand. Uh, <clears throat> four of a kind. Beat that. Straight flush. Pay me, honey. <laughs> no, I wanted to be the nice one. I bought a new dress, too. <laughs> Mr. Marty's on Market Street, where every dress is a guaranteed one-of-a-kind original? <laughs> If we have the same dress, Mr. Marty's going to be left with one of a kind. Often performing some honky-tonk? I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty crazy to me. Now, don't you sass me, Missy. Well, no, I don't mean to sass you, Daddy. It's just that I'm concerned about you. Now, I want you to promise me that you're going to forget all about this nonsense and go back to Twin Oaks and have a nice long rest. Dorothy! 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 I'm sure you're just blowing this out of proportion. But Dorothy I raised is a good Catholic girl. And what's worse, in the process, I have hurt a friend. Hey, a true friend will forgive you anything and love you no matter what. Just as I, your mother, loves you no matter what. Now tell me, Dorothy. I can imagine my heartbreak when one morning I find it dead. <laughs> a paper bird die? <laughs> Good question. Someone used it to restart the pilot light. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Rose. Hi. Rose? <laughs> yes, Dorothy? Is that a chicken you're carrying in that cage? <laughs> Gee, I think it is. See, <laughs> Rose... Now, before you all say no... No! Oh, please, just hear me out. Gums. Oh, I thought I gave it to them for colic. In their bottles. <laughs> well, my babies were very happy. <laughs> Put it in my bottle, I'll be happy too. <laughs> Look at this, pop-ups. Isn't that wonderful? Mm, memory won't slut. <laughs> Mail call. Ah, Ma, here's a letter for you from Palermo. <laughs> you know, when you pray, the kitchen almost becomes a chapel. He made me think he was attracted to me, Dorothy. He deserves the electric chair. 
That'd shock the smirk right off his smug, limey face. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, come on, Ma. You can see your lips moving. So? Well, a ventriloquist's lips aren't supposed to move, Sophia. Is that common knowledge? I'm afraid so, Ma. I mean, otherwise, it would just be you talking with a sock on your hand. What do you say about the old olive tree? Although it's ancient and all, and not much to look at, it still has the tastiest, plumpest olives. Tashira, how about an olive? Olive? Look, I realize you don't understand most of this, but that's okay. What is the point of that ridiculous story, Rose? The point is Gustav didn't die from his mysterious disease at all. He lived and recovered. Trouble was, he recovered while he was buried, so by the time they got to him, he died of suffocation. No hugging, no kissing. Let's just do it and get it over with. Sounds like the last few years of our marriage. <laughs> I wish it was that good. <laughs> Wasn't that bad. No, you're right. The important thing is that it's over. Come on in. Hello, Sophia. So did you bring the young chippy with you? No, uh -huh. <laughs> ah, come on. They sold us mates that are too old. Who can you trust? No one. I learned that in Sicily. It works fine in Miami, too. <laughs> well, we wound up spending $678 in the mink business. And what did we make? Make? Yes. A mistake, right? It was when you came in and rewrote that second scene in the kitchen where we're talking about looking in the mirror. That was the first oh, season. Right. That was the first season. Yeah. Oh, was that the it was first before, season? It was before I got yeah. there. So it was the second show of the first season? Is that what it was? Yes, yes, well, I believe it, it we was. We did that sketch when we went to England. We did that that same sketch oh, when, you know, always always on your All over between us, Chrissy. This is the woman I love. Seeing Dorothy again made me realize how superficial my relationship with you really was. Sure, the sex was great. Terrific, actually. <laughs> but it's okay with Dorothy, too. <laughs> Some tests before they let her go. Rose Nyland, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but she went into cardiac arrest. They're prepping her for surgery. <laughs> Stuffed? <laughs> made me buy so I came by the house the neighbors told me what happened I'm so happy you're cheap <laughs> <laughs> so how's Sophia doing we still don't know oh Stan I'm scared Dr. this is the Bornick oh Dr. Dr. Seymour is my mother going to be all right her condition is quite serious but you said it was just a simple virus it's advanced to pneumonia but you're Edna Edna did she like the beach you ever noticed the birds I'm asking you about your late wife. You're asking me about birds? At the park, they, they want you to feed them, but here they take care of themselves. Here they could... <laughs> Buenos dias, Dorothea. <laughs> that means hello, Dorothy, in Spanish. You've really taken command of the language, haven't you, Rose? All the men were bald. Just me and a bunch of bald men. Oh, and I kept hearing the voice of God. Anyway, one day I just finally said to myself, Blanche, you are bigger than this. You don't have to succumb to any dream. Unless it involves meeting Mel Gibson at an oyster bar. <laughs> what? Elliot made it. What? What did Elliot make? A ship in a bottle? What? <laughs> Elliot made a pass at me. <laughs> Elliot made a pass at you? You mean he winked at you? He winks at everyone. He's a... V Subject to the same diseases. Healed by the same means. Warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as you are. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison... 
Oh, Rose, hi. Listen, I just picked up these pamphlets at a cosmetic surgeon, and I want you to help me decide which alterations I'll get. <laughs> Blanche, none of these women have any tops on. Well, I know, honey. These are the after pictures of Saturday. They love, they hate, they eat. They dream, they hope, they eat. Every time you turn around, they eat. <laughs> Sophia, are those four women us? Look in the mirror, blubber butt. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, what's going on here is living. Just because you... Ma, you're making this up. So what? I'm old. I'm supposed to be colorful. <laughs> Dartha. We agreed we weren't going to read any more of Rose's diary. That was only because we couldn't pry the lock off again. <laughs> then I remember we had these pliers in the tool drawer. <laughs> Gangway old people coming through. <laughs> well, what is all this? And you're going to know, we're going to know the true age of Blanche Devereaux. Deleted by authority of the governor. <laughs> well, they, these are all like that. Rose, you know what this means. Yeah. It's been at least two or three letters since you wrote a poem. He doesn't write poems, Blanche. We write poems. Actually, Lord Byron writes poems. We just copy them onto loose leaf paper. <laughs> In cleverly disguised handwriting, I might add. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I let you talk me into this. I mean, it is out of control. We have to tell Rose the truth. Oh, we can't. <laughs> I wanted to be Miss Olivia de Havilland myself. Blanche, are you listening to this? Bits and pieces. Go on, Blanche. Well, Butter Queen was our town's highest honor. From the time I was born, my folks groomed me for it. Singing lessons, dancing lessons, junior butter pageants. Sweet. Yeah, real sweet. What's that supposed to mean? It means that ever since he made a fortune on that baked potato open, he's been coming on to you like gangbusters. And I don't like it. Not that I've ever actually seen gangbusters. But I did see ghostbusters. I didn't like that either. I mean, they couldn't give the black time tonight. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, I'm taking you out tomorrow for your birthday. My treat. Oh, oh no, Rose, I forgot to tell you. My daughter Caroline is flying in for my birthday tomorrow. Well, maybe we could all go out to lunch. You know, I'm very anxious for you two to get together. Well, instead of going out, why don't you two come here for lunch? I'll cook something special. Oh. There are the fish in the sea. You know, the ones my age are floating on the top. <laughs> now, Ma, remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. I think I crossed that line when I got a date. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> Since it's opening night, I'll give it to him. Well, why should you give it to him? Well, haven't you heard that old theatrical saying? No. Never accept a rose from somebody named Rose on opening night. <laughs> Give me, ladies. Oh, hello, hello, Patrick. Um, I got you a little something in honor of opening night. Well, thank you, Blanche. That's very thoughtful. <laughs> and Beatty passed up the chance to sleep with me. So, Rose, you said you were radioactive. Pregnant. <laughs> hey. What happened? The rabbit died laughing? What do you need the money for? They're having a special at Shopper's Warehouse. Oh. It's something I really need. What? Tube socks. <laughs> I was talking about patience. Rose, just tell Ernie that sex is not the most important part of a relationship. Just ask anybody married to an Englishman. <laughs> I'm gonna call Ernie right now. I think we have a lot to talk about.
מה? I guess we've all learned something from this. Yeah. You can never really replace someone you've lost. And the next time I answer an ad, it'll be from one of Blanche's magazines. Those people know... Everybody, listen to this. Alex Trebek and the Jeopardy people are auditioning contestants in Miami. They're coming here. Jeopardy, oh, it's my favorite show. Wowie! <laughs> yes, Pussycat, Jeopardy is your favorite every night, five to seven every morning, and of course till noon on Sundays. <laughs> Lord, no wonder you still mourn that man. <laughs> Morning. Hi, Dorothy. How you doing? Much better. Ma and I had a long... Not again with what I now know. Is Emily all right? Oh, yeah, she's fine. We're just going to get something to eat. How do you know she wants something to eat? Because she keeps licking her lips and staring at my chest. <laughs> Let's discuss this in the kitchen so we don't wake Ma. Oh, you're not going to wake up Sophia. She is exhausted. I didn't hear her, but I did cheap. So used. How do you usually deal with that, Blanche? <laughs> Rose, just for that, I'm going to flush the toilet tonight while you're taking a shower. You know, it's all our own. Well, Blanche, what do you think? Sophia, what have you done? Save my pocket little Sicilian behind, that's what. <laughs> when Dreyfus didn't come home again this morning, I went to the pet shop and got a duplicate. Amazing, isn't it? I'm scared. I'm scared, too. I'm scared for Alan, Bobby. Oh, shh. What was that noise? That was me. <laughs> Thank you for calling it to everyone's attention. <laughs> Anybody can make it sound unpleasant. Dorothy, you are being irrational. Now, the bottom line is we're talking about your health. That is a very precious thing. The longer you put this surgery off, the more you may be risking your health. I, I just don't think that's a risk worth taking, do you? You're angry. I am not. Yes, you are. I can tell. When you're really angry, you purse your little lips so tight they almost disappear. <laughs> See? Have her lips come out yet? Outfits, girls. I wouldn't mind hearing it. Oh, Ro, shut up. Now, everybody, stay where you are and go to sleep. I have to go to work early in the morning. Oh, darn, I forgot something. Go in your pajamas. <laughs> no, it's not that. I forgot to I seem a little insensitive. <laughs> no, it's not. You're just tired. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I interrupted. Uh, that's okay. I better be going. No, now you just stay right where you are. Now, Ro Rose. <laughs> no, I can't sleep. Try counting sheep. I can't. His palate without using his hands. <laughs> but I digress. He paints her portrait and they make passionate love. She spends much of the next day in the shower with a loofah sponge, scrubbing his fingerprints off her body. Someone was supposed to pick me up an hour ago. I can't figure out what's taking them so long. Ma, when are you going to stop? Now, look, you're not going anywhere. So why don't you just put down your suitcase and you and I'll go off and see a movie? You go to a movie. In a few hours, I'll be basking on a beautiful white beach, trying to keep the sand out of my wrinkles. <laughs> Nobody here speaks Spanish, Stan. <laughs> Stan, what are you talking about? Oh, oh, I get it. Play dumb. I can play dumb. Play? You could manage the team. <laughs> Just tell me where Ted is. Is he still asleep? Stan, 
Dad, it's not what you think. Hey, I read you, Ben. Bruce. Girls, listen, maybe we don't have everything we need. But what are we missing? Well, we are going away for a romantic weekend to the Bahamas with Jeff and Rich and Randy. In this day and age, it might be a good idea to take along some protection. What kind of protection? <laughs> Two armed Pinkerton guards. Is broke or fall? <laughs> Rose, are you okay? Charlie? Charlie, is that you? <laughs> Great, another one who hears voices. That's it, I've had it. My mother is impossible. You are impossible. You can just rot here for all I care. I do. I count my blessings every day because I have the kind of friends who stand by you through the bad and the good. When you're lucky enough to find that kind of friendship, I, I guess you just want to pass it on. Uh, I'll bet you were surprised when Rose called you up out of thin air and invited you out. Yes, I was. I don't date very much. I mean, I try. I took a lot of good-natured ribbing before I left the boarding house this evening. <laughs> Hi, I'm ready. Uh, uh, Rose, this is I. That's our uh, Blanche. I think I'll take a stroll past that new mini mall they're building. Why? Passing construction sites is good for your morale. <laughs> the sound of guys in hard hats making that sucker noise through their teeth. <laughs> I've been talking about this one all spring. It's the Omega 3000. How much? You know, that top is hand-embellished gold leaf detail work. The satin interior is imported from a small textile mill outside Gestad. How much? It's also lead-lined. We're not burying Superman. How much? $6,000. Sleep Blanche took pictures with the camera over film that was already in it. Well, how strange. And what a great alibi for the future. <laughs> Wait a minute, what were you doing taking pictures of yourself in bed? You've seen her Christmas cards. <laughs> well, I've got two tickets here for the final night of the Philharmonic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no idea. And listen to this. Dear Dorothy, in case you change your mind, here are three things to remember at the cocktail party. Number one, ask for more potatoes. <laughs> Number two... <clears throat> well, Doc, uh, before you get started, I just want to say that I love this woman. And although she's angry, I believe she still loves me. So please, please, Dr. Halpern, help the two of us put this crazy marriage back together. Put the marriage back together? You told me we were coming here. <laughs> Ma, how did this happen? Vincenzo, no old garage. Ma non una stanza da letto. Stanza da letto? Sofia, tu mi hai detto, dammi un garage di prima classe, ti ho dato un garage di prima classe. Eh. It was a slight misunderstanding. You see, in Sicily, every region has its own diet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad we're friends again. Oh, honey, of course we are. Uh, by the way, I have never asked you what it is you all have. Uh, oh, we're not sure. All we know is it makes your skin blotchy and your eyes puffy and your cheeks swollen and you get heart palpitations. Oh, good thing for those palpitations. Other one. <laughs> what are y'all looking at? Get on back to your lasur peas. <laughs> Dorothy, I promise you there's nothing between us. If there's nothing between you, then you will not go out with him tonight. Isn't that right? We're only going to see a play, and he's not even her husband. He's her ex-husband. Why am I even explaining any of this to you? I thought you were lonely. I thought you needed me. I did, and you were there just like always. I love you, pussycat. But hey, I got my own life to live. Adios. <laughs> Oh, guess what? He says it's cold in Minnesota. Get out of here. <laughs> Charlie, is it cold enough that if you put your tongue on something metal, it'll stick? <laughs> sure, I'll hold. <laughs> Blanche is dating Norman. You're sleeping better than you have in years. And Sandy Duncan is finally back on TV. <laughs> I think we should have a little talk with her. 
You know Sandy Duncan? <laughs> Barry Glick is very important to you. Uh, Barry was the man that I wanted to be the first. First where? <laughs> On Mars, Rose. My first lover. Well, so what happened? Stanley. That's what happened. Stanley. It's like sex in the new Russia is it worth standing in line for? <laughs> working on a whole list of ideas that have nothing to do with sex, but they keep turning me down. Oh, like what? Well, things I think people would be interested in. Like, who's in charge? Ladies, <laughs> Like the night hostess at Denny's. <laughs> for nearly a month, so it seemed perfectly logical when he dropped by cheerleading practice and asked me to marry him. Oh, I thought he was a wonderful catch at the time. He was 40, out of work, <laughs> twice divorced, had three kids, but... Of course, with a man. Is it Raymond again? As a matter of fact, yes. Raymond, isn't he the guy you picked up at the grocery store? I did not pick him up. He asked me if I could recommend a good coffee. And then I threw myself underneath his shopping cart. <laughs> oh, I think he sounds... Hoity, how do you gotta burn this? I look like the rocketeer. Lynch, forget about your hair. That is Rose's husband with you. Charlie? No, I never met Charlie. You not only met him, you slept with him, just like you sleep with everybody. I most certainly do not. Oh, come I'll call if there's any change. Come on, Dorothy, I'll take you home. No, I'm not leaving. Then we'll all stay. No, you go. Oh, no, we're not going anywhere. Look, I would rather be alone, please. Are you sure, babe? Would it be stupid to ask for a group hug before oh, we leave? Oh, of course not. I long talk last night, and I think I know how I want to handle things. Thank God. For once, you'll keep your mouth shut. No, no, no. If I want things to be okay, I want to get everything off my chest. Fine. You'll feel better, but mark my words, you'll lose your daughter. Morning, everyone. How'd you get in? I used the key under the mat. Do I smell waffles? No. Friends, we're here to listen. I mean, we've all spoken at one time or another about a sexual problem. Not me. <laughs> it's not your fault and it's not Ernie's. I mean, we've all been with a man who couldn't perform. Not me. <laughs> I just... Um, you think maybe we could have dinner Saturday night? Well, why don't I just check my date book and I'll let you know. Sure. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Well, isn't this an interesting turn of events? Gosh, I just don't know what I'm going to do. You know, he is a little bit younger than I am. Holmes ever going to find out about this? Oh, yes, they will. The St. Olaf Courier Dispatch is known for its investigative reporting. <laughs> You're right. That series they did on oat fungus was an uncompromising piece of journalism. Damn, I bet you Bert is greeting his guests right now. I can't believe we're going to miss it. <laughs> Well, I just got off the phone with Washington. I'm sorry, ladies, but the president would prefer to visit a more typical American family. Oh. Typical? We're typical. I'm the mother and I have 2.3 children. You won't find a more typical family than that. Girls, look. How do I look? Oh, great blank. <laughs> Hey, how did shopping go? Great. Great. It was great. <laughs> really great. Best shopping ever. Ma, what's the matter? I can't sleep all night long, tossing and turning. I'd get more rest on Space Mountain. I'm sorry, Ma. I can't help it. Hey, I could live with the tossing and turning. Your cold feet are what's driving me crazy. It's like having two size nine fudgicles pressed up against my butt. That's nice. So you spent the evening at dinner. No, we spent dinner at dinner. We spent the evening at a motel. A motel, Dorothy. A cheap 
tawdry, bare bulb den of iniquity. We didn't drive to Sodom and... Well, now I know why Hemingway killed himself. Oh, girls, I have writer's block. It is the worst feeling in the world. Try 10 days without a bowel movement sometime. <laughs> What? That's right. You see, when I like somebody, I get to make up what they look like for myself. And when I like somebody a lot, I make up a pretty nice picture. Would it be rude of me to ask just what that picture is you have of me? Oh, well, you make me laugh. In World War I, she told us mustard gas was something you got from eating too many hot dogs. <laughs> That's why, to this day in St. Olaf, everyone celebrates the 4th of July with a thin omelet on a bun. <laughs> what do you say, after we fire Marguerite, we each don't, I will. I'm not gonna rest, I'm not gonna sleep, I'm not gonna eat until I track that scum down. Rose, I'm the scum. <laughs> Stan and I inherited that building. I am Uncle Angelo's landlord. Oh. Dorothy, I forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it tonight. I don't care if I never sleep a week. It's just like giving birth. Rose, once you get started, you can't stop. <laughs> Actually, you can, Blanche. It's your job. You decide. It don't work that way on my show. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Elaborate. I, elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 My I, actors are more than happy to tell me which line they would like. But I, <laughs> I remember Betty after all her experience and with all her a weekly lottery tickets. Oh, girls, it's been such a glorious day. All afternoon I was in the mood for leather, and I finally found exactly what I wanted. Oh, fine, Blanche. Just make sure his motorcycle doesn't block the driveway. Oh. <laughs> Can we save the chit-chat for late? If we hit the jackpot, I want to live long enough to spend it. <laughs> what jackpot? Oh, I just find customers. I was thinking about having my breasts done like hers. All right, Blanche, but do you think black really suits you? <laughs> I was talking about the shape. See, these are wreaths. Feisty, zesty, and full of old world charm, Sophia. She's mopey, dopey, and full of crap, Rose's sister. <laughs> Don't mess with me, kid. I have a home court advantage. He can't watch. <laughs> well, I was thinking maybe someplace like, like Williamsburg, Virginia. Or maybe Washington, D.C. You're moving, Rose? Too bad. This would be touching if I liked you more. <laughs> I'm not moving, Sophie. Just checking. You never know. Tell me, how is Blanche? She didn't go to work again today. Uh. It's been three weeks and she just sits in her room. The museum's gonna fire her. Well, we've tried everything. Golf, the movies, theater, ticket shoot. Hi, Dorothy. What are you doing? I'm grading the history test. How did I do? You'll find out in class tomorrow. Can you give me a hint? No. Did I do better than Boris Yershenko? Oh, Rose. Boris Yershenko doesn't speak a word of English. And he was hit in the forehead with a mortar. <laughs> Dorothy, what the hell are you doing with my brother? Calm down, Stanley. It's just a routine search. <laughs> I can't believe that you're so desperate that you'd stoop to this. You can't talk to me that... Elliot, did you make a pass at Blanche or not? Absolutely not. He's lying. Look at him. He's twitching. <laughs> and blinking. He's lying and twitching and blinking. <laughs> he is blinking, Dorothy. <laughs> Maybe I had better wait for you in the car. What are you talking about? 
You knew Trudy was playing a practical joke all along and you never shared it with your best friends. We thought you were devastated. We suffered right along with you. Yeah. That was insensitive. Insensitive. Selfish. Selfish. Listen, as far as we are concerned, Dorothy's Bornack, you have gone too far this time. No, this is unforgivable. We instead, people, I've never seen one I never intend to. <laughs> Didn't you see your husband when he was dead? Oh, no, I cannot look at dead people. That's why I don't even watch the news. Every now and then they stick a corpse in on you. <laughs> you could be watching a perfectly lovely little story about Central America. All of a sudden, bam, a dead body. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, here we... I can't even make you put an R in February. <laughs> but I would like to talk about it. That judge would only send me back. He might not. I mean, some people come here and they stay. You're looking at one. Arnold Schwarzenegger. He became an American citizen, started a whole new career, married a Kennedy. I've put away a little money, Dorothy. It's, it's not nearly enough, but you're welcome to it. Oh, Rose. Well, I could lend you a couple of hundred. I'd planned on putting it toward my cruise to the Bahamas, but what the heck. Oh, thank you, girls. I'll just buy a couple of Harry Belafonte tapes. I really appreciate it. After they get the approval number on your MasterCard. <laughs> Good night. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Alice died. Lillian is still around, but she thinks she's Pinky Lee. <laughs> I'm the only one who's left. Well, then maybe it's time that you went out and tried to make new friends. It's not that easy to make new friends. It sure wasn't for the first Eskimo family that moved to St. Olaf. Oh. <laughs> I was sitting and feel sorry for myself, which is what I did all the time. But you got better. Yeah, because she stopped coddling me. She screamed, she hollered day and night. She made me do my therapy. She forced me to rebuild my life because she knew I could. And for that, I'll always be grateful. Ah, uh, thanks, Ma. I only have one question. Ella, you've got lots of spirit, just like your beautiful mama. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> this has gone far enough. What's, What's gone, gone far, far enough? I was talking to her. Look, from now on, she'll be Ma number one, and you're Ma number two. I think I'm slowly going out of my mind. All right. And uh, tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital and have a blast. Sophia. You were just putting me on about those eels, right? Please, in Sicily, it wouldn't be Christmas without a plate of eels. Eels and larks. Larks? Well, honey, larks aren't eating birds. They're singing birds. They don't sing long in Sicily. <laughs> he, he was loving. He was loyal. He was fun. He never left my side. Mm. I wish my ex had been like Fluffy. <laughs> would have solved a lot of problems. You could have had them fixed. <laughs> that last night really didn't mean anything. But you're wrong. The fact that it happened at all proves that there's still something between us. And now, we've got a chance to start all over. We could take that cruise we always talked about. We could... Look into that antique shop. Which is why there's no Mrs. Feinbaum, dear. Oh, did you see that, Dorothy? There was a UFO. Oh, Rose, don't be ridiculous. It was a plane deal. Come on. Planes don't fly over residential neighborhoods. Neither do UFOs. But he is not sure how I feel. Oh. He wants me to make the first move. Oh, gee, I hadn't counted on this. She makes good sense. Rose! I want to thank you for helping me think this through. You know, up until now, I honestly had a few doubts, but after talking to you, I, I know exactly... Listen, um, well, this is going to be our final night together here, and, well, we thought it might be our last chance to say... No, don't say it. Don't say goodbye. This is not goodbye. I don't want to turn this into a sad thing. Me neither. I promised myself I wasn't going to cry. Family isn't going to be together anymore. It's just not going to be the same. So I've decided I'm going to move in with my daughter, Kirsten. I think that's best. Leave? You are going to leave, Rose? You can't do that. Oh, well, you see, do you? Because of your $1.98 romance, you are... <laughs> 
just got a special delivery letter from St. Olaf. Uh-oh. It's from the Department of Water and Coffee. <laughs> Coffee? No, thanks. It makes me jumpy. <laughs> what they do is their business, but if I ever see your hand on Rose's behind, it'll kill me. <laughs> wow, what a hump. I know. Eat your hearts out. <laughs> Lynch, did it ever occur to you that possibly Rose or I might be interested? <laughs> Is that all you Italians know how to do, scream and hit? No, we also know how to make love and sing opera. <laughs> Mom, you had no right to hit him. Oh, Blanche, I'm... I'm... She doesn't ask any questions. <laughs> Blanche, I think I've heard just about enough. I don't want to hear another word about All right, this. all right, have it your way. We have to get to the photographer now. <laughs> And so, are there any questions? Yeah. What does Joe have to say about all this? <laughs> That's terrible about this whole situation. That's why I did all those things to him. Oh. It was you all along. Except for the boil. That was just luck. Gladys, we've got to go. Listen, ladies, if there's anything that I can do for you to... It's the middle of September. What are you doing? Oh, it's a banner Charlie made. I thought it'd be nice to have some good memories of him around me. He put it up every year. Uh, he was one of a kind, all right. Loved Christmas. Loved Christmas. No, I can still manage the alimony payments. No, that was not my question. I was wondering if possibly we could discuss this maybe tomorrow. You see, I, I have plans to go out. Dorothy, please. Tonight. I'm afraid to be alone tonight. My world is crumbling around me. I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what I might do. Oh, I do. You'll watch an old Barnaby Jones uh, eat a half gallon. Don't even think it, Mom. If you knew before, why didn't you tell me? Ma, you have a big mouth. Me? If I had a big mouth, do you think your one-night stand with a bug man would still be a secret? <laughs> Those in fatigue. <laughs> Everybody can see you couldn't get those past your knees. If you don't keep your voice down, I'm gonna hit you in the head with this loin of pork. Oh, Blanche, come on. $15.99. Now, this is just too extravagant. I'm not going in on this. I like this. Don't be silly. I'm enjoying every minute. Every hour. <laughs> I can't believe the buses are so late. I suppose I should call the kids again. Are you sure you shouldn't call your daughter? Mother's Day isn't until tomorrow. She knows I'll be there. <laughs> Footsteps and a man's voice and the alarm went off. It was Lester. He accidentally set off the alarm. Oh, I'm sorry. You shot my bones. I didn't shoot Lester. I'd rather you shot Lester. <laughs> I think I'll pass on the nightcap, Blanche. Go on home, you old fool. Sound like you were quite a pistol back in high school. Well. I'll bet you had a nickname. Mm. I sure did. Tell her what it was, Rose. <laughs> oh, no, it, it was your nickname. You tell her. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was Skipper. Lucas, Dorothy, from the bottom of my heart, Congratulations. I love you both. Uh, Blanche, there is something I must say. Uh, Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy. Cool. You're sick? You're pregnant. I quit. Thank God. <laughs> you should be mad. Oh, I am mad. I'm also glad you're not pregnant. Honey, why did you quit? Well, I went there to be with my boyfriend, but when I got there, I found he was practically living with somebody else. He'd replaced me. With what? <laughs> tomorrow for that commercial. I said she was family. I'd do anything for that girl. Well, is everybody ready for a spirited game of Guggen Spritzer? <laughs> Guggen Spritzer, you said we were going to play Monopoly. I said it was like Monopoly, only instead of Atlantic City, they use St. Olaf geography. Please, just do it. Please, please.
please. Pretty please. Oh, all right, all right. Don't beg. You sound just like your Uncle Carmine after he'd been away on a goat drive. <laughs> so you're not going to tell us what happened? Nope. Well, Sophia, that's your choice, but I think you're making a mistake. You see... I will continue to see Glenn for as long as I please. Is he going to leave his wife? Ma. Ma, for the first time in a long time, I am really happy. So please leave me alone. If you're so happy, how come I hear you pacing in your room night after night? I can't sleep. I have a lot on my... Now, do you think you can ever forgive me? I don't know. I have to think about it. I understand. Okay, I thought about it. I forgive you. <laughs> Blanche, Blanche, thank you. Oh, oh, what the heck? That's what friendship's all about. <laughs> oh. I mean, after she left, the town didn't have a professional beautician for years. <laughs> Women started giving each other home perms. Pretty soon, everybody looked like Art Garfunkel. <laughs> Husbands stopped sleeping with their wives. The population started to go down. Music. Did they land on their feet during the dismount? <laughs> Different people have different strengths. It's just impossible to tell, but anything over a nine is excellent. Over a nine? We're just happy to be with you when you get your little plaque. <laughs> oh, Blanche, it's more than a plaque. In St. Olaf, it's the highest honor. We all think of it as, as a reminder that no matter how bad things may be in the rest of the world, St. Olaf is still a place that's filled with honest people leading honest lives. Stanley, stop it. I am not going out with you. I would rather be bound and gagged and, and left on an anthill covered with honey. 400. <laughs> 410. Sold. Oh, Dorothy, I say that. 500. Sold. Seeing both of you. But of course, that is a decision that you will have to make. Now, if you will excuse me, it's time for me to change into my third linen suit of the day. In this heat, I go through them like Kleenex. Oh, of all the nerve. How could he possibly... Slow down, you yuts. You're going right past her. <laughs> but he didn't hear. And that's why today, Rose, there's an unusually large Italian population in Spillsbury, Massachusetts. <laughs> That's a really moving story, Sophia. But what exactly is the point? The point? To me. Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh. Now, good night. <laughs> honey. Oh, hi, Dorothy. Honey, can I talk to you? No, go away. But I can't sleep, Sophia. It's all because Rose isn't talking to me. I could care less. Now, get out of my room. <laughs> Sophia? I'm not in. Wait for the beep, then leave a message. Now, you bought one street in St. Olaf. I bought the only street in St. Olaf. <laughs> that means I'm going to tear down your phone booth. <laughs> this is the stupidest game. I could just... Dorothy, Dorothy. I could just play all... Well, I'm glad you straightened that out. I was beginning to remember writing those letters. <laughs> literature, world events, life. I, be, I haven't had that stimulating a conversation in years. Now, Dorothy, if you're saying you can't get stimulating conversation around this house, I beg to differ. I can't believe it. It says here that since Michael Jackson can't buy the elephant man, he's now put in a bid for the remains of the big boss. Then Rose and I will blend right in. We'll just blend right in. Smooth. <laughs> You know, I did feel bad about missing my high school reunion. And Miles is out of town, and with you guys there, I know I'd have fun. You know, this is ridiculous, but I'd say, let's do it! <laughs> It'll be a lark. <laughs> we'll be just like the Three Musketeers. <laughs> mm. Blanche, let's go! Mm. 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 Come on, Blanche, let's go! Um. 
town started digging like crazy. Kneeling by the grave, using their hands even. Dirt flying and Beatrice screaming. And when they opened that coffin, there he was. Dead as a doornail. <laughs> I'm ready for class. You look like you're going to a cocktail party. Si, mucho, mucho bazoomas. <laughs> well, gracias, honey. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Stan. Come on in, Stan. Oh, so of Mario. Oh, Rose, did you make enough for three of us? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, good. Well, I'll save yours for when you finish rotating my tires. <laughs> Yes. Hi. My name is Sam Burns. I'm a friend of Blanche's. Oh, yeah, come on in. Oh, no, no, don't. You know, we we have these uh, people who are coming to visit, and we still haven't decided what our sleeping arrangements are going to be. I volunteer to sleep with Sophia. Oh, no, I think I should sleep with Ma. I mean, we've done it many times before. We always get along just fine. Except when you're sick. You remember the time you had bronchitis? Oh, honey, I was really... It's Dorothy How and Blanche. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honey Rourke, after all these years. You don't know who he is, do you, Rose? <laughs> Having a clue. <laughs> Please, don't be embarrassed. We never met before. <laughs> well, then exactly how would you have known her anywhere? From child. Well, the rain's on me. I see. Dorothy. <laughs> What did you do to him? George. Hmm? Promise me one more thing. What? Promise me you'll never die. Besides, I've seen the way you all drive. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to miss you guys. It was nice of your folks to let you join them in Hawaii. Yeah, they've never ignored me on an island before. David, you listen to me. Now, they want the three of you to start over from scratch, so the least you can do is meet them halfway. I'll try. Wait, did I tell you that Larry Krause called the other day? Really? Yep. Did he ever get married? Three times. Actually, four, if you count Victor. <laughs> You know, my motto today could be the last day of the rest of your life. <laughs> Sophia, I'll bet with a few tips from me, you can have this guy Tony in bed in no time. <laughs> that's good, because that's exactly how much time we have. <laughs> now, my mother does not... Wish me luck. Blanche Devereaux? Yes. Gloria Schmidt, IRS. <laughs> but what I was thinking back then. I still look Fat Sullivan on Sunday nights. <laughs> the scary part is, sometimes I find him. Ma, why can't you make me happy? I want to do this. Okay, okay, if a trip down memory lane is gonna make... Isn't this exciting, taking part in a protest? Standing up as free Americans and exercising our right to say we're mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore. I'm out of spit. Can I go now? <laughs> Twenty envelopes and you're ready to quit. You have to get him out of oh, here. Girls, I know how difficult it is living with Stanley. Don't forget, I did it for 38 years. But the man is recovering from major surgery. He needs us. He is taking advantage of you. He is sick. Oh. Now, he's the only one who can know when he's ready to leave. It has to be his decision. Well, sometimes Pete makes with you. Because you have different interests. Now, is it too much to ask of my best friends that they respect my right to have different interests and different people in my life? I guess not. Oh, thank you. And I promise we'll do something together real soon, okay?
Oh, I wonder what would happen if somebody called up my sister Virginia and told her this terribly embarrassing story. I guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to bed. You coming, Ma? Elvis would never have left this much meat on a porch. <laughs> Dorothy, you're out of the club. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, ladies. See you next week. I'm except Dr. Jerry's medical report. Why? I don't know. Something about his prison record. <laughs> they insist you be examined by one of their physicians. This is a real bummer. We've gotten this far and it's suddenly starting to all fall apart. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Boot Nanny is marginal, and I refuse to accept salami. I have to go put up some fresh coffee. I'm expecting that lady from the catering company, and I don't want her to think I'm a bad hostess. Salami, please. I never had this trouble when I worked alone. Oh? No. When you worked alone, the only thing you could rhyme with go was... Okay. Just stay down. Uh, this is Mullins. I need an ambulance and backup at the Richmond Street Stakeout. My partner's been shot. Oh! You know, at first I was really scared. And then, as a blind person, I'll, I'll talk to her. Rose? Uh, yes. Lily, I just... Want... I know, you just wanted to see if I was all right. What they are. I have to go tomorrow. Then I'll do it myself. And we'll get you back here, I promise. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. Now, listen, I want you to keep up with your homework and you write to me and tell me how you're doing. I will. I'll never... Madonna Tello triplets, ladies and gentlemen. I'll bet those boots have more miles on them than... I... <laughs> Joan Collins' waterbed. <laughs> Her waterbed. In both I'm here. I'm standing here, and he's standing there, and, and I actually love him. I love the man, and not out of desperation. Dorothy Bornak has finally conquered her desperation. Dorothy, I do. <laughs> Maybe he's just hypochondriac. <laughs> really? Well, let's take a look. So, you've been keeping these ladies busy, have you? Oh, I didn't mind. I have such a highly developed maternal instinct. <laughs> he was a man who brought joy into the lives of all he touched. <laughs> I have the feeling he touched every behind him. Fidel Santiago lived life. Excuse he... me, Father. Uh, hold that thought. Two. Well, three? Do we hear four? Well, that was more like a ten-day, two-week span. For me, that's a lifetime span. <laughs> Not even. Do you realize I'll be 65 years old when this child graduates? Clayton. Blanche, mm. how'd you find me here? Well, I knew that you and Rose were here last night. May I join you? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> That's L.A. law. I wondered why Susan Day didn't have a French accent. <laughs> Girls, what am I gonna do? I got a call from a soldier who just returned from the Persian Gulf. Don't fall for it, Blanche. Sal didn't come home from World War II till 1930. I can't let that happen. I just can't. Oh, my God. It's worse than I mm. thought. 
Uh, this is more baffling than the Paxton Osgood case. <laughs> First Rose had to lie about the money, and now she's hiding some deep, dark secret about Charlie. Well, Blanche, whatever it is, it is none of our business. Come on, Ma, let's go to bed. What? Calm down, Scarlett. There's no need to be so dramatic. Please, she can't help it. Everyone around here acts like a ham. There's been more bad acting, bad dancing, and bad singing under this roof than a Suzanne Summers special. <laughs> It's been so long since I changed the diaper, I figured I'd practice before the baby gets here. Ma, hello, Martha. Where were you? I'll give you a hint. The guest of honor had lipstick on her teeth and didn't give a damn. <laughs> Who died? My best friend, Lydia. I'm so... Attractive roses. How much fun roses. I might as well have worn a bra. <laughs> really say that? You're not just making that up. I never make up stories where I come out looking bad. <laughs> he also said he's going back to yes, me. Yes, and then what happens? Well, then it goes right here into my inbox. This is outrageous. Lillian's problems cannot wait that long. She is old, she is sick, and she needs better care right now. I agree. What? Look, ladies... Sunny Pastures doesn't... In lieu of a story, would you settle for a very wise observation? Oh, yes, Ma. Al's a good guy, and he makes you happy. And if you're doing it for that reason alone, it's worth it. It's my guess that you're also doing it because in your heart, you feel it's the right thing. Thanks, Ma. That means a lot to me. Good. <laughs> well, we do a lot of things real people do. Except for one very important thing. <laughs> Boy, is that going to put a hitch in Dorothy's plan? <laughs> Hello, I'm Rose Nyland. You must be Frank. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Well, thank you, Rose. Had his eye on me, so I took out your hairspray and gave my hair a final spritz. Only, surprise, it wasn't hairspray. It was mace. <laughs> you had mace. Your hairspray was mace. I maced myself right there in the police station. <laughs> Hot. We've been going to a therapist together, and he's making some wonderful progress. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Stan. And who's that good-looking monkey with you? Don't be... You spend that much time with people who are old and sick and frail. Oh, that reminds me, I got Mahjong tomorrow. <laughs> Well, anyway, we wanted to pick up your spirits, Rose, so close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, very funny, Blair. Right now, now, uh, let's see. You got, you got something borrowed, something blue, something new. You need something old. Old enough? Oh, Ma. Oh, Ma. My little girl is getting married. Oh, my. <laughs> Honey, why don't you stay here? You can share my room. It's certainly easier than arguing with her. Right. <laughs> I'd like you to meet my two dearest oh. friends. This is Rose Hello. Blanche. Hello. My sister, Gloria. Welcome to Miami. Oh, well, thank <laughs> you. Oh, Gloria, Sophia's told us so much about oh. you. I have been feeble. <laughs> if I can find the living room. <laughs> Dorothy, what just happened? Well, weren't you listening? Sophia came in and asked Dorothy to drive her to the mall for a blood pressure test. And then Dorothy told Sophia that they were, had a date to go out to dinner Friday night. And then Sophia said uh, that she and the... Would you have your non-rolling meatball? Hey, just because you have a chin doesn't mean you're Jay Leno. <laughs> Ooh, what smells so good in here besides me? <laughs> Lasagna Alice Sophia. I made it for the Daughters of Italy cooking contest. All right. Dorothy, I, I was thinking of a permanent arrangement. What do you mean? I want Ma to come live with me. So I asked her to, and she said yes. <laughs> Fly a 
and try to warn the king. Okay, Mrs. P Hawkins. Um, maybe you can tell me a little bit about your mother's history. Picture it. Sicily, 1900. An olive-skinned woman set sail for the new world. I, I was talking about her medical history. So was I. You think that was a pleasure cruise? <laughs> what do you mean? He had a big floppy pancreas. Right? <laughs> Look, could we get back to lining the shelves? Mm -hmm. I don't feel like it anymore. We Italians scream, dress up a donkey, hire a band, and that's that. It's these Southern Protestants who make it a way of life. When I go, put me in a steel sack and leave me on the curb next to the cans. We thought... the committee is female. Who are you going to sleep with? <laughs> are you insinuating that I cannot win it on merit alone? All women? <laughs> so where are you going all dressed up? Uh, Raymond invited me. Um, he didn't want it. He said there's a nick in it. We have to have a return policy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Girls, listen, let's face it, all that so-called junk out there has too many fond memories for all of us. We're never going to be able to part with it. Yeah. We might just as well call this whole garage sale off. Oh. Split the money. <laughs> well, Blanche, looks like the splits have it. Big Daddy was right. Women should not be allowed to vote. <laughs> Blanche, if it's any consolation, when I wrote down, give it to the old lady, I did mean you. Hi. Well, Rose, isn't that sweet? And I do love you for it, honey, but I just couldn't. I, I could never fit this trim little body into that big old tent of a dress they're going to have to make for you. <laughs> Miami Vice. Miami what? Vice? It's with the police department. Oh. I thought he was with the university. No, actually, before you left last night, I thought he was the doctor from the plane. Then Dorothy explained to me that he was the university interviewer. Oh, no, that, that was Michael, the guy I flew the... Blanche, what happened with Jerry? He said he wants... I thought I saw the king himself walk by, eating a giant chili cheeseburger and drinking a 36-ounce Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Turned out it was an impersonator, but these are still very special mementos. And parting with them is an extremely painful sacrifice on my part. Buck and a quarter. A dollar and a quarter? <laughs> Rose, honey. Are you awake? I don't know. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> I need to talk to someone. Rose, it's been a terrible night. Ted turned out to be as big a jerk as... I'll just leave you the brochure. <laughs> Can you believe that man? He actually thought he was going to help us. Well, he did have one good idea. What was that? Cheesecake. Cheesecake. <laughs> You know, Dorothy, to this day, I cannot understand what you ever saw. The funeral is for a neighbor. Oh, well, my condolences. Oh, no, there's no need. We didn't like her. <laughs> In fact, the whole neighborhood despised her. Oh, I see. Well, how did she pass on? She killed her. <laughs> Rough neighborhood. Uh, look, uh, Mr. Uh, Pfeiffer. You look like George Kirby. <laughs> Wait.
wait, wait. It's time that John Noretti learned a lesson, that I am not that same little girl whose head can be turned by a, a pair of beautiful eyes and a killer smile. Have you found her? Oh, yes, Blanche, about a half hour ago. But now I've hidden her again so you can find her. <laughs> the Dow was down again today. I told my broker to short all my high-tech holdings and put it all into AAA bonds and precious metals. Hey, you sound like doctors. Make her feel special. Oh, and what kind of woman am I? The kind who should live with her mother. <laughs> Oh, come in, Doctor. Oh, sorry. Oh. Hello, uh, Doctor. Carol, this isn't a good time. Well, you know me. When is it a good time? Besides, I'm with him. We were on a date when you beeped him. What about what you said last night? If you had let me finish my thought, Colonel Gaddafi, <laughs> you might have understood. I said I thought this kind of relationship was wrong for you. Well, it's not. Dorothy, I'm your mother. I know you. You're a loving and sensitive person. But this isn't going to be enough someday. You'll be... Dorothy, it was delicious. My pleasure. Oh, I really enjoyed it, too. In fact, I had such a good time, I forgot all about a what's-his-name. Fidel. Oh, honey, I know what his name is. No, I mean, there he is. <laughs> and he has his arms around another woman. Make demands on each other when they're apart. Out call massage. <laughs> That's odd. He's usually home by now. Well, he is the zipper king. Maybe he got stuck in traffic. <laughs> and we settled on right here. Oh, now hold on here. I don't want a TV crew coming in here, messing up my kitchen, setting up all that video equipment. Well, how about shooting it in your bedroom, Blanche? The equipment's already set up there. <laughs> Wife, Anna Maria Bonaducci. What? I can't believe it. What do you say about my hunches now, Dorothy? Five more minutes, I would have had it. No, how could you know? No. Of the other great Southern writers, like. Uh, <laughs> All those that are so famous, they need not be mentioned. <laughs> oh, girls, it's going to be so exciting. I am going to make a fortune. And I won't even have to use my imagination. My life is a romance novel. <laughs> it's been so long since I changed the diaper, I figured I'd practice before the baby gets here. Ah, uh -huh. hello, Martha. Where were you? I'll give you a hint. The guest of honor had lipstick on her teeth and didn't give a damn. <laughs> Who died? My best friend, Lydia. I'm so sorry. Call me one hour before he's supposed to pick me up in his brand new two-tone Mercedes. He's canceled our date for tonight. Well, he probably had a good reason. Oh, he said he had to go and visit his sick mother in the hospital. Did oh. you ever hear such a weak excuse? <laughs> his mother isn't in the hospital. Well, of course she is, but he can visit her anytime. <laughs> he can only see music. <laughs> Did they land on their feet during the dismount? <laughs> Different people have different strengths. It's just impossible to tell, but anything over a nine is excellent. Over a nine? Been back in college. Dara thinks he has been back. What do you use, a big ear stapler? <laughs> okay, so I made a few little slips. But I can keep a secret, Dorothy. I'll prove it to you. You tell me what you got for Sophia, and if I... <laughs> How about I make us a little drink before we leave? Well, maybe one. Okay. Oh, I wonder how this thing works. Oh, just like the Jetsons. <laughs> now, let's just sit up. Bridal, on. sweet. I'll bless you in my prayers for this, Sophia. I might as well give them the chance we never got. Now, this could take a while, and it won't be pretty. Did you ever see The Exorcist? No. Good movie. <laughs> well, here goes. Oh, sorry, Kevin. you. I just figured out what's going on here. Blanche. <laughs> you were so 
sore at me for inviting your friend without asking you, so you hired this guy to come over and teach me a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> is important now and with them gone we're supposed to be together in a new way i saw it on a coffee commercial i think taster's choice <laughs> this couple we're supposed to be like that like what like this couple they're there just the two of them sipping coffee together you did have to go to work how else could we have paid for the operation all i know is i was alone and terrified and i have never gotten over it I still have that phobia about hospitals. Well, it's about time you got over it. Blanche, get the keys to your car. We're taking Dorothy back to the hospital. Ma, I am not going. Okay, fine. So you don't want to go back to the hospital? No. Well, I was in my aerobics class when I noticed this gorgeous man checking me out. So during the buttocks lifts, he motioned for my phone number. Well, I didn't want to appear easy, so I rolled over on my back and flung my legs over my head. <laughs> That's what I call giving him the brush off. <laughs> Rose, I'll be waiting. Coach Claire? Yeah. Buzz, hmm? I've been thinking, of, why don't we spend some time getting to know each other before we go rushing off to Europe? I know all... You can't buy from a scalper. That's a crime. Well, so is eating grapes at the supermarket, but you do that all the time. <laughs> I have to test them. Rose, one is testing. Fourteen is brunch. <laughs> Good Lord, I'm a criminal. Fine, as long as you already have a record, I can count you in. Mama. Ah, uh, <laughs> too bad, Blanche, that you weren't there. Yeah, too bad, but I'm sure she'll say it again. <laughs> okay, let's go. Wait. Let me get a picture. Isn't she the most beautiful mother you've ever seen? Um, you don't have to buy a yearbook dinner. Rose. You can take a yearbook home to your parents. Rose. There's nothing wrong with having a yearbook on the coffee table. Rose, this isn't a riddle. Well, make it one. I had three good... Mainly problems, and you are... We are the world. <laughs> I'm Dorothy's born act. This is my mother, Sophia. We're here to talk to you. <clears throat> Hello. No. That's your job. You decide. It don't work that way on my show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Elaborate. I, elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, my I, actors are more than happy to tell me which line they would like. But I, I remember <laughs> Betty, after all her experience and with, with all her... Confront your father. Tell him how you feel. At least you'll have some kind of a relationship. Right now, you have nothing. You know, Rose, I'm luckier than you because I had a father, a wonderful father, whom I loved dearly. But right now, you have an opportunity I would give anything for it, just to have ten minutes more with Big Daddy. Oh, to hear that sweet old husky voice <laughs> once. Pure milk chocolate. <laughs> oh, that's the love this trophy I've ever seen. I'm gonna get a knife. Rose, there is no way that we can tell you how proud of you we are. Oh. Sure there is. Congratulations, Rose Nyland. You are St. Olaf's Woman of the Year. Oof -da! Oof -da! <laughs> Awkward with you and Dad not talking. Oh, now, just a minute. I'm not the one who ran off to Maui with someone half my age and twice my bra size. <laughs> you see what I mean? That's why we're getting married in the Bahamas. You are not getting married on an island by a priest wearing clam diggers and a Harry Belafonte shirt. You're going to get married... What are they made of? Silly putty rose. I don't know. I don't know, Rose. I just want to forget the whole incident. It's been a terrible night and I am very upset. You mean because Gil dropped out of the... I nearly came to me. Why not take the best features of each lady to create one perfect lady? That is what you see. You know, it is not hard to understand why you are such good friends. You complement each other very well indeed. Thank you, Laszlo. 
Oh, one more thing. I mean, he must really think we're stupid. Really stupid? How could we possibly need three dozen spud gaskets? <laughs> Wait, spud gaskets? That's what goes on the end of a hose bib. We couldn't need more than a dozen at most. <laughs> Rose, how do you know about this? Oh, I know a lot about plumbing. I feel like working this body up into a manic frenzy. <laughs> well, great, we still have time to get to class. Oh, who cares about class? The circus is in town. I say we go look up the Flying Finale Brothers. <laughs> uh, 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 well, good for you, Dorothy. <laughs> What the hell are you doing with this loser? <laughs> oh, he's not a loser. He's a wonderful and gifted musician. I know this sounds odd, but when he was on stage, our eyes met and it was, well, it... Are you quiet? <laughs> I'm whispering. I, I don't mean now. I. I mean, then. Oh, it's very quiet. I'm very quiet. I don't scream. Well, you probably want to get her operational as soon as possible. After all, she's quite a showpiece. <laughs> Where do I install her? Well, actually, uh, Lou, uh, we're going to install her ourselves. Follow me. Hold it. You're not serious. Why not? Oh, ladies, the installation of a toilet's a very delicate procedure. Y you got to go to school. You got to be... He wasn't the only one who was up all night. You were, too? Yes, I had time to do a lot of thinking. And? And, of course, I'm going to do it. Oh, Blanche, you're a brave lady. Oh, you really are, honey. No, I have to. I don't want my sister to die. I want her to live. Of course, nobody ever made fun of her for that. Anyway, when old Space Needle was in high school, <laughs> she drank some cherry herring and made love in the back seat of a Fjord Fier lane. <laughs> Local car. Uh. You can't come in here. This house has been quarantined. We all have a... Uh... Quick, Rose, give me a deadly disease. Oh, I'm sorry, Blanche. I don't have a deadly disease. <laughs> well, get one. Yeah. That's wrong. Strong, like me. Oh. 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 oh, yeah, that's right. You went through heart surgery, too, didn't you, Sophia? No. I take nitroglycerin because I want to explode. Here you are. When you weren't at home, I figured something was wrong. <laughs> now, you have to go in there and set Sven straight, and the, the longer you wait, the harder it'll get. I know you're right, and I, I will. Of course she's right. You know, I once made the same mistake myself. I was dating a guy my parents could not stand. He used to come over to the house during... They fired that gray-haired baker who refused to wear a mask. <laughs> Well, let's slice this baby up and see if we can solve our Sophia problem. Here, darling. Oh, do you know how many problems we have solved over a cheesecake at this kitchen table? No, Dorothy, exactly how many? 147. On to Final Jeopardy. And today, our Final Jeopardy category is this. U.S. History. My major in college! <laughs> All right, players, make your wagers. Today's final Jeopardy answer is American hero buried in Grant's... Adam was conceived on the day of the Princess Pig when they had the pig crowning. <laughs> and Janella was conceived on Hay Day. That's the day we St. Olafians celebrate hay. <laughs> Rose, do you think you could wrap this up before Rebecca goes into labor? <laughs> then there was the day of the wheat when everybody... St. Olaf! Blanche... Hmm? What was all that stuff with Harry? You know, the man has not dated since his wife died. Well, you can't spend your whole life in mourning, especially when you're the most eligible bachelor in town. In Sicily, we have a simple rule. If your husband dies, you wait 20 years or until you grow a mustache. <laughs> in town. Ma! Hey, some of Italy's finest sopranos were former mayors. <laughs> The 
town's most eligible goat farmers. <laughs> Until Anna Maria Alonzo Palladino, known to her friends as Muffin, moved to our village. Suddenly, all the men who were always fighting over who would get to keep the footprints I left in the mud were after Muffin. So, please, it's time to present the Friends of Good Health's Best Friend of the Year Award. But before we go any further, I have an announcement to make. Don Johnson, star of Miami Vice, who was originally scheduled to be here, will be unable to attend. Poor thing. Wish there was something I could do. I know! I'll make my famous ice cream clown sundaes. The one with the little raisin eyes and the sugar cone caps. If that doesn't fill the void, nothing will. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing. My daughter in New York, she had one of those walk-up apartments, five flights up. Oh, it got harder and harder each year to climb those stairs. And finally, one year, I couldn't make it without stopping. Oh, it depressed me for weeks. Oh, my God. Is that what I have to look forward to 15 years from now? I don't know what to say. Is it just your heart that's clogged or your ears, too? Let me start again. A half a pound of lox, a dozen bagels assorted, no coffee, two prune Danish, six sour pickles, and a container of cream cheese. Come in. Miles. Have you ever thought about us getting married? Uh, well, well, sure. Yeah, eventually, as soon as I put a little money away. What, you think I'm being cheap again, huh? What the hell are you talking about? Ask the towel lady. <laughs> What's wrong, Rose? The slightest noise and my hump of flockle cake will fall. <laughs> oh, why, why, why? Rose? Honey, calm down. You can make another cake. Look, we're going to set it up over here. Uh, Dorothy, I'm going to put you right... <laughs> Wonderful news. The contractor says he can start building the hot tub tomorrow. Uh, oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> So, Blanche, you must be paying extra to get a building permit that quickly. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. The damn government isn't going to see one red cent of my money. But, Blanche... Find me up. I would love to help. You? Oh, you'd turn the telethon into a disgusting manhunt. <laughs> a disgusting manhunt. What a great idea. Oh, see, we'll all get dressed in little safari outfits, and we'll have the men in cages. Rose, you answer it. I'm not going to answer. I don't want to have to lie for you. It's your daughter. We're not that close. <laughs> you better answer it the next time. She's going to get mad. How do you break off a relationship uh. when the sex is great? When the sex is lousy, it's easy. <laughs> Two more dates and it's over. Know, just to make sure. <laughs> I remember the best sex of my whole life. Uh, was it difficult? Boys can't catch anything. I've seen them practice. <laughs> hi, girls. Oh, hi, Blanche. How did your date with John go last night? Oh, perfect. Dinner in the symphony. Mm, you must be really serious. You've seen him every night this week. Uh, you're a lucky woman, Blanche. Your guy, John, is just the type of... Oh, well, let's see. I'm nine weeks late. It would have been two weeks before that, so about 11 weeks ago. Nine weeks late, and you just realized that something is wrong? Yes. I kind of lost track. <laughs> well, I think you better get out your book and find out what you did that week. We know what she did. We don't know with who. <laughs> Four men. We've just been inseparable ever since. Hey, Cochran, what are you sitting with the guest for? It's time to serve the main course. You want me to come back after dessert? No. 
Blanche, you do realize you're in the minority on this. <laughs> Sophia, did you finish your shopping today? Yeah, just about. It's unbelievable how much things cost nowadays. I just spent $89 for a doll for my granddaughter. Ma, you had $89? Don't be ridiculous. I... <laughs> Dorothy, have we met? Not yet. I'm here because of your ad in the paper. Willing to do anything, $8 an hour, no job too big or small. Yes, yes, of course. Please come in. I'm sorry, I didn't expect people to actually come here. I just... He's talking to you. <laughs> Dorothy, I spoke to your Aunt Regina in Sicily this morning to tell her about the wedding. She told me I'm in for some very bad luck unless I have the blessing of my eldest daughter or my child with the most facial hair. Either way, all arrows point to you. But I didn't have the time. Yeah, well, that was my fault, Kevin, for interrupting the high school experience with a book. <laughs> hey, you didn't know. <laughs> Kevin, what are you going to do when you're out in the world competing with young men who have applied themselves? That's hot dry. <laughs> I'm not Sheila Patterson's daughter. <laughs> You can't treat me like this. I'm going to my room. Oh, Ma. I have the strangest sense of deja vu from when I was 14, except I'm Ma and she's me. <laughs> what are you going to do about her? Well, I've got to be love borrowing his clothes. Did you like wearing boys' clothes growing up? No, but fortunately, neither did my brother Phil. <laughs> It's an awful lot to digest at once. You know, I mean, first you surprise me, and then the engagement, and then... Lorraine? I really love her, Mom. <laughs> That's all that matters. I, I mean it. I'm very happy for you. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Hello? Yes, Frank, I am aware of that. No, I'll, I'll have the money to you. Do it with a southern <laughs> accent? Of course I want you to do it with a southern accent. I said, oh, thank God, because I don't really know how to play it without a southern accent. So and even a May, phone. May Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, without a job, Pigpen started feeling useless, so the town fathers thought they'd give him a new job, putting up the Welcome to St. Olaf sign out on Miller's Lane. Rose, is there a point to this story? Yes! That same year, on Founders Day, the governor was coming. It's kind of weird. <laughs> no, I've thought it all out. And then when you arrive at level four, then you get to just nuke her. <laughs> I mean, just... Nuke the hell out of that. <laughs> oh, it'll help, Rose. Of course we'll do oh, it. Oh, thank you. You are the best friends I've ever had. Now, before I lose the nerve, I better make the plane reservations. Did she say plane reservations? I thought her aunt lived in Fort Lauderdale. She did, big mouth, but she's being buried in the Bahamas where she spent her winters. Damn! fall back, but your chest does too. <laughs> Unfortunately, it falls back and off to the side. Well, it's too late to do anything until morning. We might as well get some sleep. I can't sleep. I'm wound up tighter than the girdle on the back. Well, I want to tell you something. I love you more than anything. Even more than the Dodgers on five cent beer night? <laughs> Okay, even more than that. Wow. Daddy, I love you. I love you too, kiddo. Come on, let's go to the zoo. I guess. Oh, it's kind of lonely not having someone nice and decent like Miles. My advice works with my men, you know, the shallow guys I go out with. But if you still want my advice, here it is. Call Miles.
People uh, need help making decisions. That's the way it was with Thor, our pet lamb. From the time he was first separated from his mother, he wouldn't eat, he wouldn't sleep, he wouldn't frolic with the other sheep. You're slipping into verse, Rose. Keep it simple. Daddy got the idea of you or anybody else. And the sooner you realize that, Rose, the happier we'll all be. Come on, Blanche. Come on. Let's go to bed. Yeah, I'm beat. Me too. Me too. Uh, Me too. <clears throat> Ow! Hives. You got yourself mixed up with a real hustler. Sorry. Well, you won't be needing me today. <laughs> Blanche, do you want to read the note? Do you want me to read it to you? Well, we're meeting Holly. Didn't she mention it to you? No. And I suppose you'll say it's just a silly mix-up. Well, I'm not falling for that again. I'm not going. Fine, Rose, fine. But I do think it's time that you realize that Holly is a terrific person and would not do anything to hurt you. Well, we could sneak into Rose's room, put on some of her hasty dresses, then do imitations no, no, of... No, 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 not the three of us. I mean Janet and Sarah and I. Oh, the three of you. I don't care. <laughs> You're no help at all, Sophia. Dorothy, do you have any ideas? Well, you know, my idea of a good time. Oh, God. There's someone at the door, Rose. Rose, aren't you going to answer the door? Hi, cutie. Hello. Buzz, this is Miles. My Friday night, we're planning on having dinner at Joe's Stone Crab. Oh? Hey, it's your wedding anniversary. Oh, yeah, right. Sounds nice. Ma, you didn't forget, did you? Oh, forgive me. I forgot something. Maybe you should ship me back to Shady Pines. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be in the living room being... Girls, we don't want to be over-eager. No, let's be very cool and laid back. We don't want to do anything to heat up the bidding. Who will open the bidding at uh, 5,000? 5,000. <laughs> One of us at a time. I have 5,000. Do I have 6,000? Six. Who will give me... It was a reflex reaction. No, thank you, and goodbye. Look, uh, we had a chance to think about what we said last night, and we're real sorry. Must have been quite a shock finding us in your bathroom, huh? Won't you please accept our apologies? All right, apology accepted. Great. Now you can buy her back as I can remember, but somehow you were always there when we needed you. You got me through four years of college by helping me pay for it, but also by encouraging me whenever I felt like giving up. Do you want me to go on, Ma? Because we could be here all night. Enough already. Ralph Edwards makes less of a fuss over people. <laughs> Looks kind of lavender to me. Oh, I hated those drapes. Lavender's a great color on me. Brings out my eyes. Your eyes aren't lavender. Girls! <laughs> Blanche, who's the father? The father? Yes. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> well, you'd better figure it out. When was your fertile period? Uh, Does not want us to say a word about this to anyone until we hear from him again. Not a word. Is that understood? Yes. I thought I heard voices in here. What you girls doing? Oh, nothing. We're just sitting talking. Listen. How could you have done this? Blanche, I'm a thief. Oh. Well, actually, I was a thief. As I was driving away this evening in your car, oh, for shame, <laughs> I suddenly thought, what am I doing? For a few paltry jewels, I'm throwing away the greatest jewel of all. Oh, come on, what's on the list? I've never told anybody this, but I had to transfer high schools because of a field hockey incident. <laughs> Rose, that was a terrible thing to do, dumping Blanche. I'm not going to be your partner. Oh, no, I want you all to stay partners. I've already got another partner. 
I signed up with Olga Nielsen. Oh, why not? I mean, the day's shot anyway. Great. And after I can take you to dinner, how about that little seafood place near the Fontainebleau where we run our honeymoon? Yeah, sure. Why not? Hmm. If memory serves me correctly, the last time we excused ourselves before the main course and rushed back to the hotel. That's to Rose, but I'm glad she wasn't here when I dropped by today. Well, Nielsen, what a sweet thing to say. That must be why I date more than she does. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant what I said about that diet of yours. Men of our generation like a little meat on their women. <laughs> Maybe uh, you don't want to pinch an inch, but I do. Oh, oh, Milton. <laughs> See it? Hey, a fast-talking pepperoni salesman gallops into town. Of course, both girls are impressed. He dates one one night, the other the next night. Pretty soon... He drives a wedge between them. Before you know it, the pizza suffers, the business suffers, the friendship suffers. Thunders with Stan. You know, he's gotten him to transfer his love for me to a fake monkey. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, it really is very simple. You see, studies show that when baby monkeys are taken away from their mothers, they can transfer their love out stewing all day. Maybe you're right. An active day out on the town with a handsome young man just might take my mind completely off old what's-his-name. <laughs> Floyd. Okay. Come on, Sven. It's Sven. He's mine next coming weekend. Well, sure I can. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll see you then, Janet. I love you, baby. You think about it, don't you? That's it. What's wrong with her? Malcolm kissed her. My God, she's in shock. <laughs> he gave me flowers from a store. <laughs> Ladies, good morning. We go on in about 10 seconds. Oh. Just relax and have a fun show. Hey, you don't happen to sing, do you? What makes you think that I, I sing? I would even want to. I mean, you know, some people might enjoy making fools of themselves in public, but uh, me sing, I... I don't think so. Possibly do. Dorothy's right. The sun's rays can be dangerous. Now there's a hole in the ozone layer. <laughs> if you all are out here to try to get me to patch things up with Rebecca, you can forget it. Blanche, there comes a time when you have to let your daughter make her own decisions. I remember, Dorothy, when you would decide... I have a few words I'd like to say. First off, I want to thank all of you. This has been a, a great campaign. Tomorrow at this time, I could actually be your city councilman. But I don't want to be your city councilman unless I can win this job honestly, and there is something that I haven't... Oh, girls, what a great night. Stevie went three for four. Oh, you were at the game. There was a game? That man just makes me feel so young, like I was back in high school again. Remember? Remember how you used to feel when your boyfriend... <laughs> Are you happy today? Oh, my God. We're being bugged. Who is it? Immigration? <laughs> Ma, what are you talking about? Uh, happy? Uh, I'm, uh... I'm happy, all right. Happy to be a citizen of the United States of America. And of course, please, somebody stop the bleeding. Pussycat, leave a few scraps for the other two nudniks. You never know when I might need a good neurosurgeon. These people are not nudniks. They are brilliant, accomplished scientists. And I'm wiping the floor with them. Why didn't you tell me it was Father Leahy? Well, I assumed you knew. No, I didn't. I mean, frankly, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed. Yeah, well, me too. Well, what difference does it make? We can still be... You marry this man, and we're no longer family. You do this, you are out of my life forever.
a dream for me. Martha wants to commit suicide. And she wants me to be there with her. And what did you say? I said I'd think about it. You can't say no to somebody who pops for a $75 dinner. Tell them, Blanche. <laughs> Sleeps only in the daytime. I know, and then at sunset, she makes a big pot of coffee and sits up all night with that gun. It's better than having that dog. As long as she doesn't wet the floor. Oh, you poor things. Oh, I feel awful for you. Well, the important thing is to keep your spirits up and don't get upset. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello, Steve. I'm all ready to go. What are you talking about? Fine, Cupcake. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I know you're in there. <laughs> Weasel of a manager wouldn't budge an inch. He pushed us to the wall. Now it's all out war. What do you mean, man? Tomorrow morning, all chow wagon employees over the age of 70 are officially out on strike. You're going to pick at the restaurant? No, Rose. We're going to put on war paint and shoot flaming arrows at the covered wagon out front. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh, Blanche, honey, how was your date last night? Oh, unforgettable. Mel Bushman and I were coming back from a champagne picnic at Sunset Beach. We ran out of gas in the middle of nowhere. Oh, my goodness, what did you do? You name it. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Oh, I, I just had the weirdest dream about Jonathan. Oh, was it a bad dream? No. No, it... it Help me make up my mind about our relationship. I'm going to keep seeing you. If we actually... For dinner. Dorothy, tell me something else that's on your list. <laughs> An entertainer. <laughs> Entertaining people, getting my masters, and I wanted to sleep with Michael Del Vecchio. Wait a minute, Michael Del Vecchio? Is he tall with black hair? Has the elves still busy packing their tiny bundles? Wedding elves. It's that cheap hair dye she uses. It finally ate through. No, we're, we're doing fine, oh, Blanche. Oh, no, honey. Sophie, you're using too much rice. Fine. This elf quits. Stop being so vain. You can't stay 42 forever. Yes, you can. <laughs> if you eat right, exercise regularly, and live with women who look a lot older than you... Tell me, Rose, is um, kill the bitch a tradition? hundred percent better. And that's the big secret? Oh, no. The big secret was that Miss MacGyver and Miss McKee were sharing a one-bedroom apartment off campus. <laughs> How will you? Here you go, ladies. <laughs> Dorothy, would you uh, like some more d'oeuvres? Uh, no. She's gonna have a baby. And if it's a boy, she can name it after its father, Rick Joe Bob Don Day. <laughs> done everything to get them in the mood music soft lighting what else can you should go and stick to your guns right i've made my decision i'm going to stand by it no matter what happens i'm not going to turn back i forgot my raincoat well, <laughs> silly. now what'd you forget i forgot a key there is one little thing <laughs> well that must be him rose would you get the door please Hello. Oh, hello. We thought you were Blanche's date, but you're way too old. <laughs> Hold on, Blanche. Hello, sweetheart. Come here. I want you to meet all my... <laughs> well, I, I guess when you're 17, 23 can seem rather dangerous and forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> when you're 17, a cow can seem dangerous and forbidden. <laughs> I 
wanted to go to the Holy Land. She had just bought the ticket. Now she's dead. Hi. What a day. Oh, you too? Oh. You know Roger Barton, the man who works in the cubicle next to me? He doesn't like me. Everybody's always liked me. And we probably should have told her about the letters. I think you're right. Come on, let's see if we can find them. But being vice principal of a junior high school isn't as glamorous as it used to be. Oh, sure, I still get to store all the chocolate clusters in my garage from the new band uniform drive. And, of course, I am the advisor. All right, all right, we will. You? you? Do you have any experience? No. no. You're hired. <laughs> Boy, making pizza really brings back a flood of childhood memory. Please, tell me you understand. I need to know that you forgive me before I let them cut open my heart. They may have to stand in line. <laughs> Dorothy, please. Oh, all right, all right. You're off the hook, Stanley. You can go to the hospital with a clean conscience. I forgive you. Dorothy, you've got the compassion. Life is a sports page. <laughs> Listen, tell me I can't do better than this in my sleep. He grabbed her. She could feel his fingers pressing into her moist flesh. Her heart was pounding, her loins on fire. As he spun her around, her dress ripping open. You know how many... Didn't find anything? Oh, I found one job I wanted. I would have been perfect for it. But they told me I was too old. Oh, what kind of job? Assistant manager in a pet store. I don't know why they didn't hire me. I worked in a pet store in St. Olaf for 10 years. I mean, I was the one who thought up big squeaky toys for cows. Oh, it's just that that was the first time that had ever happened in 18 years of married life. Get out of here. You mean to say that Every night, without pathetical question. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, let's say that uh, you make Miles a batch of your delicious, creamy cupcakes, and he loves them so much that he wants you to make them all the time. <laughs> Miles does have a sweet tooth. But let's say that even though he loves your cupcake... Makeup on with a butter knife doesn't make you Tammy Baker. <laughs> Forget it, Blanche. I'm not going to kill myself because you have the hats for some guy in a fancy car. Dorothy, Larry is very important. I think we should order champagne. And caviar! Yahoo! We're rich! It has to be here somewhere. It's not in the laundry room closet. <laughs> It's not in my bedroom, but I knew I didn't hang it in there. I am <laughs> I hope you like it extra flat and crispy. It's a pizza, Rose. I knew that. I just meant what kind. Did you really know that, Rose? No. But I thought I could cover. Likewise. I live here. Oh. You don't. I live over on Dorado. Ah, ah, ah. It's about a 20-minute walk. Ah, ah. But I usually take the bus. Are you waiting for one now? No, I'm... Uh... Did you not just tell my sister that I betrayed her? It was the only way I could get rid of her. She's a nut, you know. You see it, too? That's why I was so angry when she told me about that thing she had done to you. Thing. You know. No, I don't. I think you do. <laughs> Plumber, could I see some identification? <laughs> Come on in. So, you two are the proud parents of the new Dolan Standard Low Boy, huh? Oh, yes, <laughs> we're sending out engraved announcements. <laughs> we sit calmly eating our bran flakes when there could be a dead man in the house. I'll go. She's very brave. Boy, I'll say. I want someone to come with me. I'll go, I'll go. I'm from Sicily. What's the big deal? 
electric blanket. Every time I call you, it seems you have a cold. Well, I'll call more often. Don't pick on your sister. Here. She brought you something. It's a gift certificate for a complete makeover at Elizabeth Arden's. Maybe now you can get a date. Please, Ma, I'm not calling Cap. Came to town dressed as sandwiches. <laughs> Charlie and I forgot to put cheese between us, and before I knew it, there was Kirsten. <laughs> Look, Blanche, what Rebecca is doing is really not so terrible. Sleeping arrangements? <laughs> what in hell am I going to do about the sleeping arrangements? Well, honey, why can't you sleep on the couch and give Clayton and Doug your room? Are you crazy? What will the neighbors think if they see two men in my bedroom? <laughs> They'll think it's Tuesday. Better if you talk to her. All right, I'll talk to her, but I can't promise anything else. I once wrote some letters to my nanny. Uh, we know, Rose. She ate them. <laughs> You're making this up. So what? I'm old. I'm supposed to be colorful. <laughs> Dorothy. I'm not. And please, call me Jake. <sighs> My pleasure. I once had an Uncle Jake. Of course, he could never cook. <laughs> He also could never get through our family Fourth of July picnic without unzipping his overalls. <laughs> Too bad your uncle can't make it to the banquet. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, Jake. Uh, I can't let him. Hey, I let you have the Donatello triplets. A deal is a deal. Sophia Alfonso will only embarrass himself. Oh, please, if he was worried about being embarrassed, he wouldn't walk around with that much hair in his ears. <laughs> Besides, he called his old vaudeville partner, and they perfected one of their old tricks. It sure was, me. Patrick swore to me that I was the only woman in his life. He told me the same thing. Oh, you liar. He said he was going to tell everybody about us. He said when the time was right, he was going to rent a plane and... and ride it in the sky? Where is this school? <laughs> Jenny, what happened? He met a thin, blonde goddess. Uh-huh. One of those girls who has everything, you know, looks, money, brains, a body, and now my boyfriend. Oh, honey, I've been in that position more than once. You've been... A Yankee, a Yankee. <laughs> that is inc incredible. And you think they made a movie about that deadbeat Gandhi. <laughs> Well, there's a, a story like this that hasn't been told. 32 years of marriage, laid off from your job at grief counseling. Hobbies, cheese making. <laughs> stamp collecting and Viking history. Blanche, I said hello. I don't normally speak to people who call me a liar. Now, look, Blanche, we're in public now. There's no reason to be hostile. Oh, yes, there is. I don't like you. And horizontal stripes make you look like Roger Ebert. <laughs> oh, there, now, do you... You had an affair with a priest. Priest? I didn't say he was a priest. I said he was a man of the cloth. He was a fabric salesman. <laughs> You know, we never made love again after that, but he did cover my lazy boy for free. <laughs> Wonderful, Blanche. The point is, something in his eye says he wants you, and I think he... Why not? Let me tell you a story. Picture it. Sicily, 1881. <laughs> a beautiful young peasant girl. Mama, not another story. Sophia, come closer. <laughs> That's it? You're moving in here. Salvador and I talked about it, and we think it's best for oh, you. Oh, you think it's best for me? You didn't... Oh, she's been so depressed since she got back from that funeral. Oh, I mean, she lost one of her oldest friends, and even though she made up with Mac, she knows that she'll probably never see him again. Well, you go and get her. We will try to cheer her up. You don't want that poor little thing getting sick over there. No. Mom! Oh, my God! Dorothy! What is it? What 
out, honey. Oh, Blanche, there you are. Listen, honey, I have a favor I have to ask. Oh, uh, now forget it. You're just gonna laugh. No, I won't. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Yes, you will. You'll just turn it into one hearty laugh at my expense. Now, Dorothy, this really hurts me. I will not. You won't even giggle? No. Ponce de Leon anti-aging <laughs> I'd sue. <laughs> These Bornak, how could you? Oh, look, they have airbrushed liver spots all over us. Rose. Don't talk to me. Don't try to cheer me up. Just leave me alone. I am angry, and I'm going to stay angry. <laughs> <laughs> It just doesn't make sense. Why was Chuck? America. Magda, how can you be such an expert on America when you've only been here a few days? I know that communist system is more fair. How can you say that? People all over the world are realizing that communism doesn't work. It worked for me. I had automatic can opener. I had toaster. And I was very near top of the list to... It's my late night at the counseling center. Oh. But what are you doing here? Blanche told me she was sending you out on a date. Oh, she did. Didn't it work out? Well, let's just say Blanche has it in her head what type is right for me, and she's way off. I'll bet I could sit here for a minute and tell you what your type is. Hmm? I'm good at this. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I'm... Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Mrs. Petrillo. Did you have trouble sleeping? No, why? Well, last night I woke up and you were sitting on a chair in my room. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, where I used to live, the bathroom was across the hall. Curse. Still worried about the money you owe the government? Oh, no, Blanche. I'm worried about whether Michael Jackson will be able to buy the remains of the elephant man. <laughs> really? Gee, I'd be worried about the money. outside that we can't do right here. You promised us we could pee in the woods. <laughs> Get away from that couch. <laughs> I have an idea. Who's in the mood for some real camp out food? I have beans. I have... He was not. He was just a man. I mean, you've said yes to all the men and you've been discriminating against the women. I have not. It just so happens all the women we've seen have been horrible. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he walked. <laughs> well, good night. Sweet dreams. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll have just one more cup of tea. Yeah, and we can finish the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. You know what would go so good on this cheesecake is those chocolate sprinkles. We finished those and anything for a friend. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? I'll go too. Yeah, like you had a choice. <laughs> when do you think the mysteries are going to start? You want a mystery? You should have tried the pink dressing at the salad bar. Oh, no, six traveling <laughs> companions. <laughs> Tour of European cathedrals, no prudes. That's my pal. <laughs> what a day. Look at this. Toothbrush. It was our pleasure, Jamie. See y'all. Well, that's why I love the girls, but they don't seem as old as you said. It's the lighting. <laughs> Charming man. And so handsome. Uh, oh, as they say in St. Oh, you can't buy from a scalper. That's a crime. Well, so is eating grapes at the supermarket, but you do that all the time. <laughs> I have to test them. Rose, one is testing. Fourteen is brunch. <laughs> Good Lord, I'm a criminal. Fine, as long as you already have a record, I can count you in. A few minutes to help me move my stuff. Safe. What? 
You hurt me. What's that on your neck? A wart. <laughs> I'm talking about my necklace, the one Mommy gave me for confirmation. You always wanted that necklace. I did not. Then why'd you take it? To cover the wart. <laughs> Give me back my necklace. Oh, come on, Ma. Oh, no. <laughs> now, don't say another word. Just go to sleep. Can I leave my light on? All right, yes, yes. <sighs> I want you to know, Blanche, I really appreciate this. Did I just say go to sleep? <laughs> I can't. I'm too scared. Are you all right? <laughs> I am now. <laughs> I can't believe this is the shuttle for St. Olaf. What's going on? I thought you were going to loosen up. I mean, you've always been frugal, but lately it's gotten out of hand. I don't know. I guess it all started about a month ago when I went to see my doctor. Oh, my God, Miles. Is something wrong? Yes. He said I... Probably going to live to be a hundred. <laughs> Rose, I'm only budget stuck. Yeah, being stuck. No, I'm stuck on the gum somebody left on this bench. <laughs> okay, now you just give me your honest reactions when people go by. That's how I'll tell. Okay. Here comes one. Go. Hmm. No, too thin. Live longer than I will. <laughs> Sophia, you know how much it means to a mother to talk to her child on Mother's Day? I remember one Mother's Day I spent with somebody else's mother. I was on my way back to St. Olaf. I was stuck in this little bus station. <laughs> you know, I think I'd almost forgotten what happened to you, although none as horrible as what you just described. <laughs> ah, there you are. Ma, I scheduled the appointment for your checkup. Ma, you know you have to have a physical. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Take you to court? Have you declared incompetent? I'm not incompetent. Once when I... Get her a Ziggy card? No. <laughs> oh, my, not Snoopy. I didn't get her a card. <laughs> Dorothy, if you're really so worried about this, well, I'll just let Rose open yours first so you won't be embarrassed. You know, your ego is so fragile. You have to turn everything into a... I mean, I can't believe that she would go back to... I told her that it was a big mistake. Who's asking you what you think? It's none of your business. Kate came to me. She came to you to listen, not tell her how to run her life. You should have stayed out of it. I don't know what to do. All right. All right. Sit. Listen. These puffs and a sensitive assistant both on the verge of collapse. <laughs> Whatever the problem is, overlook it. My mother did with my marriage. And if you say something smart, I'll slap you silly. Listen, this is a private moment. Stanley, don't you think it's kind of a coincidence that you get a relapse on the very day the doctor says you're ready to move back into your own apartment? What can I say? The heart's a funny organ. I bet most of your organs get a laugh. <laughs> Blanche, I sense some hostility. Good, because I hate you. You wouldn't be surprised if you saw him. 22 years old, and all he did the whole time I was there was drink beer and shoot cans with a BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia! Oh, um... Um... Uh, Ma, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, Rose's friend, the doc... Satisfied customers. I was thinking about having my breasts done like hers. All right, Blanche, but do you think black really suits you? <laughs> I was talking about the shape. See, these are... You to Shady Pines when you have a hernia. You took me there after I had a stroke? <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere. Blanche, you talk to her. A wet bar. Blanche! <laughs> Look, Ma, I love you. And I know what's best for you. And besides, I don't want to feel pangs of guilt for the next 20 years. Oh, I didn't tell you my really good news. Better than the dead mother-in-law? <laughs> yes. George's younger brother, Jamie, is flying in tomorrow from Charleston to help settle my part of the estate. You and Jamie were close? Well, we were classmates in high school. I thought he was cute, but of course I could never date someone from my own class. Really? Yes. Like what? Like 
Uh, Spanish fly. Spanish flies? Fly, fly, Rose, one fly. Oh, come on, Dorothy. I've been to Spain. It's not the cleanest country in the world. <laughs> They've got thousands of flies. Valencia alone. It is not a fly, Rose. Spanish fly is not a fly. Go forget about it. I can't forget. This man stole money from us. Because of him, our family went hungry. Ma, we never went hungry. Some nights I felt like dessert. <laughs> Sophia, I kept a secret for 40 years because I didn't want to break your heart. But now that I know it's made of... I bought a nectarine. <laughs> Sing a number from my new album. <laughs> yep, she's ready. We're gonna do everything that we can. Thank you. But wait just a second. Come here, Kirsten. Kiss me goodbye. Mom, don't say that. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here, kiss mommy. Thank you, Blanche. <laughs> now, don't forget, I'm gonna see you later at the book signing. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can get a copy of your book there. Well, it just so happens. Oh, is this it? Vixen, story of a woman. Ooh, catchy title. Would you like me to sign it? Oh, sure. Friend's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> Oh, Blanche, honey, I just wanted to thank you again for last night. Is uh, Rose Nyland here? I'm Rose Nyland. Well, I'm Chester T. McRaney, legal counsel to your late Uncle Hingleblotter. Oh, we've been waiting for you. Did you bring the baby? I brought him. Him? Oh. Did you hear that, girls? Uh, does he look anything like me? Yeah, well, they do. What harm did you do? You lied to everybody. You saw are nothing but a low-down carpetbagging scallywag. And as God is my witness, I will never shampoo your hair again. And another thing. You'll never what? <laughs> don't ask. Well, I guess you know how we all feel. So why don't you just get out of our sight? Well, it looks like she's been around the block more times than a good humor man. <laughs> Hold my purse. But those are fighting words. Stop it, all of you. What difference does it make that Lorraine's a little long in the tooth and Michael's a skinny white boy? Can't you see they love each other? We of course, Blanche. They did it in that movie. What movie? Lawrence of Arabia. Right? <laughs> this flyer that came in the mail says they're going to start a dirty dancing course down at Lawson's Dance Studio. What do you say, Dorothy? Oh, no. I can't see myself swinging my hips and wildly... Sweet. Yeah, real sweet. What's that supposed to mean? It means that ever since he made a fortune on that baked potato open, he's been coming on to you like gangbusters. And I don't like it. Not that I've ever actually seen gangbusters. But I did see ghostbusters. I didn't like that either. I mean, they couldn't give the Black Mountain so I don't have to explain anything. <laughs> Well, you know, we just didn't need two cooks. And obviously, Sophia was going to be the Italian cook. It, it was obvious after, after she'd been hired and we all started working together with it. I think the network. Oh, good, Rose, here you are. Honey, listen, I have been giving it some serious thought and I have finally come up with a perfect solution for your very sensitive problem with Miles. What? Cheat on him. I can't Up on a crack, break your mother's back It doesn't work, I know <laughs> I tried Young man, this woman is doing you a favor She's taking time from her own busy schedule they don't know you have no life. <laughs> Kevin, no dice. You take it or leave it. These are my terms. Look, coach, you told me if I was nice to her, she'd roll over. I'm out of here. If you want to win tomorrow, it's...
Well, Blanche, what do you think? Sophia, what have you done? Save my pocket little Sicilian behind, that's what. <laughs> when Dreyfus didn't come home again this morning, I went to the pet shop and got a duplicate. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, I will. I'm not gonna rest, I'm not gonna sleep, I'm not gonna eat until I track that scum down. Rose, I'm the scum. Stan and I inherited that building. I am Uncle Angelo's landlord. Oh, Dorothy, I forgot. I always figured it was perfect for my Dorothy. Oh, he sure is. He's smart, he's sophisticated. I was talking blind. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello. Well, hello there. How have you? Dorothy, why is your lipstick all smeared? I just kissed our driveway. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hello, hi, Rose. Rose. Oh, hi, Rose. Uh, would you consider teaching me how to drive? Oh, sure, Sophia. How about this? I teach you how to drive, and you teach me how to be a greeter. Sorry, I thought you knew. How can you blame him? The man looked at the three of you naked for a... Well, I will tell you one thing. You are paying for this dress. <laughs> I am not paying for the dress. I will pay for the dry cleaning and that's all. I told you before, you can't return something after it's been worn. I certainly can't now after your little spasm. Yes, it is. Officers? You brought the cops? That's right. I came prepared. Officers, shoot these people. <laughs> you heard me. I'm a taxpayer. Shoot. Blanche Marie Hollingsworth, sit down. I'm not a little girl anymore. You can't tell me. I said sit. <laughs> Now, Blanche, that music box is a lot more important to me than you could possibly know. I didn't give it to your family. I gave it to your father. It was a special gift. I don't understand. Mom, no Mom, we'll talk when I get back. Thank you for everything. I love you. Oh, I love you, too. And I love you, too, Dennis. Oh. 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 Hey, goodbye, oh. Dorothy. Oh, Listen, don't take any guff from her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but take good care of her. Because if you don't, I'll kill you. You know that. But just hate it. I haven't been dumped since Wade Honeycutt threw me over for Rebecca Wilkinson, a girl who did not value her reputation. Mm. <laughs> did you let him get away with it? Hell no. Oh, what'd you do? Slept with his brother. <laughs> Come on. Come on, partner. Let's go get even. Oh, please. Black Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Louder next time, my heart's still beating. Oh, I'm sorry, we thought you were Mario. You'll have to scream louder than that if you're gonna kill him. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What's going on? Oh, oh no. It's time for me to move on. My job here is done. Oh, I always love it when you talk like the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Ma, I want you to know that I support your decision. I think you'll make a great nun. Thanks. I needed to hear that. I love you, Ma. I love you too, Tonto. <laughs> well, it's just nice to know there's still people out there who don't think the city's out to get them. <laughs> Somebody moving in? Oh, hardly. With the three of us renting from Blanche, we're practically sleeping on top of each other. <laughs> oh, well, you can't do that. Well, we all wear pajamas. Mandel. Sven, I'm Dorothy. Hello. And I'm Blanche. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Rose tells us you're getting married. <laughs> yes, and I hope I'm good at it. I don't have that much experience with women. <laughs> A big, strong, handsome thing like you get out of here. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting all of Something disgusting and unattractive about me? Yes. <laughs> Now you cut it out, you old worm woman. <laughs> what's wrong, Blanche? I'm in love, that's what's wrong. I am desperately, completely, helplessly in love. Man. Well, my plan with the truck drivers didn't work, thanks to little Miss Straight Laced here. 
So I have been in every front yard in a six block radius getting these penny savers from the paper boys. She was a woman possessed, Dorothy. Caught some on the fly, scaled a couple of roofs, and she had a brilliant idea how to avoid guard dogs. You made her work. Well, when she puts it that way, it's so hard to resist. <laughs> Finished. I have graded the last paper. D minus. You're going to give. He took me to the restaurant where he had met his ex-wife, Roberta. Well, I would think going to that restaurant would just remind him of her. It did, especially since she owns it, runs it, and calls the place Roberta's. <laughs> As she was seating us, he begged her to come back to him. And after he had wept over his crab cakes, I... Well, I'd better start planning Mario's party. Oh, Dorothy, let me plan it for you. Oh, honey, you don't have to do no, that. No, but I want to. You have enough to do, and there's nothing I like better than planning a party. Are you sure? Yes, there's nothing to it. Oh, well, fine, thanks. <laughs> Rose? Yes? Plan a You can't sleep either. Hmm? No. Want some tea? Oh, please. Watch what you're grabbing. I got a specimen and get your bunny nose out of my butt. <laughs> Let's just get some sleep. Oh. Good night, Ma. Good night, Mo. Good night, Lowry. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sleep. I'm on the wrong side of the bed. Well, I use it. Now you're telling me what you would like me to do. Here, I have a picture. Well, this is not you. You are a vixen. For you, I see a saucier cut, an Audrey Hepburn look. Simple, elegant, and something to accent these delicate features. Right. Oh, thank goodness I worried all the way over here. I'd get it backwards. <laughs> I could have lived with smart and sexy. <laughs> you do live with smart and sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Holly, this is... Oh, wait now, Rose, let me. She... I, of course not. Of course not. I'm strictly cheerleaders, wild parties, and hot tubs. He stands. Before I forget, a deal's a deal. Here's your 50. That's okay, Sophia. This one's on the house. Rose, don't make fun of old people. <laughs> I'm wearing weights to strengthen my ankles. They come in headbands? Everybody, look who's here! <laughs> Come, oh, sweetheart, sit down. Say, live with him? That's right, Sophia. Not marry him, live with him. Yes. yes. Two world wars, a Polish pope, and now this. <laughs> I may live to see CBS come up with a morning show yet. <laughs> I just don't know what to do. Well, Frank... I'm a little nervous about Jean. I mean, she's a very special person. I don't know if she's going to get along with Blanche and Rose. You mean because she's a lesbian? Oh, Mom, she's not a lesbian. I mean, what an absurd thing. How did you know? <laughs> I've known since you two were in college together. She didn't even know in college. It wasn't such a bad thing to do. The stuff tasted great, and Salvador decided to market it. At first, it didn't move so well. Linguini with ear salve on a menu doesn't look too appetizing. <laughs> but once he changed the name to pesto sauce, it moved like hotcakes. Why you making? You lose your breath. You lose your earring. Your mouth waters. Your nose runs. Your heart races. Your blood races. Rose. Say it, Ernie. It's time, Rose. Oh, oh, honey. oh, I'm so sorry. What happened? She was fighting an oil rig fire in the Gulf of Mexico. She was 88. <laughs> well, it's great that she was able to work right up to the end. <laughs> Stanley!
say, don't you think it's kind of a coincidence that you get a relapse on the very day the doctor says you're ready to move back into your own apartment? What can I say? The heart's a funny organ. I bet most of your organs get a laugh. <laughs> Blanche, I sense some hostility. Good, because I hate you. <laughs> Even I don't get that one. So, what, uh, what's your name? Oh, Blanche, and these are my friends Rose and Dorothy. Oh, well, tell me, uh, how long have you girls been working? Oh, well, that's an odd lead-off question, <laughs> Carl. It's twice as dangerous. Her jewelry was mute testimony that Charlie Chaplin wasn't the only tramp who hit it big in this town. You do this on first dates, don't you, Dorothy? Does this mean you'll go? Of course we'll go. Oh, boy, sure. Are you okay? Oh, just a little nervous. I'm supposed to get married in exactly 20 minutes right here in this hotel. Well, then what are you doing here? Cold feet? Yeah, but not about him. See, he's got this ex-wife. Two. Much too subtle for this evening. Dorothy, put on something flashy. Something flashy, something colorful. Oh, that's really not me, Blanche. I know, honey, but take a chance. Be a woman. It's an awful lot to ask, Blanche, but I'll try. Good. Go on. All right, Rose, come on. Let's go see about Saturday. I think I'll just stick around. Huh. What the heck? That car will still be there tomorrow. <laughs> Boy, this is depressing. <laughs> Girls, let's go cruising. Hey, I know a place where guys wrestle naked in the mud. I had that double. <laughs> well, did you get them talking? Nope. I just spent a half hour out responsibility. Like if you're missing any jewelry or they kill you. <laughs> I'm not getting out of here alive. Well, Ma, will you calm down? You are in the finest uh, hospital in Florida. Nothing is going to go wrong. Okay, Mrs. Petrillo. Let's see if we can get you patched up, huh? Thank you, Rose. It's time for me to move on. My job here is done. Uh, I always love it when you talk like the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Ma, I want you to know that I support your decision. I think you'll make a great nun. Thanks. I needed to hear that. I love you, Ma. I love you too, Tonto. <laughs> Blanche, huh? maybe you should stay and talk to a counselor too. Oh, oh look, Santa's come to spread some Christmas cheer. Oh, good luck with these gleaming gusses. Hold it. No one's going anywhere. And they'll even run your picture and let you use up to a hundred words in your biography. How do you know that? Rumor. <laughs> well, I suppose I could try it, but I could never, ever see myself going out with a man I met that way. Mm -mm. Honey, desperate times call for desperate measures. Why don't you make it sound like I'm the only woman in my bedroom? I, I want to lie down for a while. Ma? Dorothy, who the hell parked a Buick in my bedroom? Took to have me. Did I mention the colic? <laughs> Ma, you're hurting my feelings. Not as much as you hurt my uni. Ma! <laughs> I'll tell you something, Dorothy. No matter how much pain I went through, and it was a lot, I wouldn't give up having you for anything in the world. Thanks, Ma. Of our friendship, and... I don't know what to do about it. Face it, Dorothy. Blanche and Rose are limited. Well, I admit I get tired of hearing about Blanche's dates and Rose's relatives back in St. Olaf, but they are very good friends. Well, if you like them, I must have overlooked something. A mug of hot apple cider with a cinnamon stick. Lady, does this look like Knott's Berry Farm? Coffee will be fine. Coffee. Did I ever tell you girls I met my husband, George, on Christmas Eve? Oh, Blanche, how exciting. 
Let me tell you just how exciting a Christmas Eve can be. I was home from college on Christmas vacation when my... But what we're dealing with here, my mother bought this man at a bus stop. <laughs> jab, left, jab, jab, left. Well, what are you doing? You don't know the first thing about boxing. Please. I used to be known as the Don King of Sicily. <laughs> of course, I used to wear my hair differently then. I'm a... You seem sudden, but there is something very important I want to ask you. Anything, Ted. Uh, may I cut in? Oh, hell. <laughs> hey, Stan, it's good to see you. What a coincidence, huh? Look, I'll be back at the table. Uh, but No, uh, it's okay. Hey, we've got all night. You two enjoy, huh? Gambling, party of two. See another woman? Are you sure? Yes. We used to see each other constantly. Now I'm lucky to see him twice a week. If he's not seeing another woman, what else could he be doing? Maybe he paints like Red Skelton. <laughs> Rose, would you please hand me my grade book? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> wouldn't even budge for Julio Iglesias. I know Greek. Oh. It takes time. Please, Rose. Listen, if you're Irish, you have a wake. You eat, you cry, you drink, you vomit, and you're done. <laughs> If you're Jewish, you cry, you sit, you eat for seven days, you put on 10 pounds, and it's over. <laughs> oh, geez. The mystery continues. Now, girls, remember, look everyone over very carefully. Try to figure out who are the real guests and who are actors pretending to be guests. It'll help when it comes to solving the mystery. You know, when the president comes to town, it brings out all the oddballs. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Stan. Oh, Stanley, what are you doing here? I'm glad you asked. Inside this box is my best novelty yet. Not to mention the perfect tie-in to the president's visit. Ladies. Okay, what? Bye, Doug. Blanche, exactly what did you say to Lucy that night at Ed's apartment? Oh, I, I told her a lot of things. I told her she was a bright, charming, funny young lady who didn't have to rely upon sex to be liked. Well, good for you, Blanche. You know, I hadn't realized how much she's been looking up to me. I Strangely titillated. <laughs> oh, you were talking to her. <laughs> Trudy, how about if tomorrow we play a real game, you know, something that requires real skill? You mean like midget ice bowling? <laughs> I'm talking about tennis, you do. Wasn't your kind of crowd, pussycat? That's funny. It's the same excuse you used when you didn't invite me to my sweet 16. Now that was a party. <laughs> my, it's me. He decided to buy a woman from the Philippines. <laughs> Actually, he bought two women. He wanted an extra for formal occasions. Then who is this guy? Well, to tell you the truth, I was on the bus. Wait a minute. You set Dorothy up with some guy you met on a bus? Please, it wasn't that glamorous. He gray. These are black. I look like Buddy Holly. <laughs> you are. You get in the kitchen and eat your slop before I spank that little pink fanny. All right, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that's the way they used to call us for dinner at the home. Supper. <laughs> Rose, you can't believe everything you read in that rag. It caters to people of the lowest intelligence. Then why do you buy it? <laughs> because it's the only newspaper Elvis will talk to from beyond the grave. <laughs> Make a hundred for half the money. So of course he got the contract. When the Navy came back to check on the progress six months later, they discovered there'd been a terrible misunderstanding. Phineas had made a hundred hoagie heroes for $500,000. He claimed that... Are you all right, Sophia? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I'm okay. I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. You know, I saw a lot of this when I worked at the grief center. You're angry about Phil's death, and that's normal. But you shouldn't be angry with Angela. You know, I think you haven't cried. Walk. Fine, rub it in. <laughs> you and Tony have been fooling around all day. 
That's a lie. I've been out shopping all day. In your bathrobe? I came home, I took a shower. Kill me. Why do you think I came over here? Jean is not working. We shouldn't take any chances. I can't be moved. Somebody else will have to give up their room for Rose's family. You're fine. You're staying with me. You always complain and we always get through it. All right, fine. But I'm begging you. While we're sleeping together, please, lay off the broccoli at dinner, huh? <laughs> Show me the dress or not. Be right there. Well, get a move on. If you hurry up, I can give you an honest, unbiased opinion. And you'll still have time to return it before the... Possibly do. Dorothy's right. The sun's rays can be dangerous. Now there's a hole in the ozone layer. <laughs> if you all are out here to try to get me to patch things up with Rebecca, you can forget it. Blanche, there comes a time when you have to let your daughter make her own decisions. I remember, Dorothy, when you would decide... She knows how long it took us to save that money. You can trust her. Don't get mad. <laughs> Ma, did you buy the CD today? Not exactly. I said don't get mad. <laughs> Sophia, what did you do with our money? I think you're going to be really impressed. I made a very shrewd deal with a guy I met at the bus stop. Oh. <laughs> we are over. There is nothing wrong with my relationship with Eddie, and if my mother can't buy it, I am very sorry. It is her problem. Oh, just getting in? Listen, if you three are just going to use this place days, would you mind if I got one of those medical emergency beepers? I'd feel terrible if you came home one morning and found me on the doorstep instead of the Miami hip. Oh, girls, we can't do this. Now, remember the party. It's two weeks from Saturday. No, it isn't. This year, Phyllis moved it to Sunday. Then we have an extra day. We can worry about our bodies tomorrow. I'll get the plates. I'll get the fork. I'll get the hot fudge. I'll get the... It's just party. When it's done, I'd like you to take a look at it. Oh, be happy to, Mr. Allen. Be happy to, Mr. Allen. My, <laughs> my, Dorothy, aren't we licking boots a little early this morning? <laughs> I had a light breakfast. <laughs> Here's your mail. Why don't you just tell me what's in? The market's in Miami. If it was in Phoenix, I'd be going in the sun. <laughs> Now, Sophia Rose asked a perfectly sensible question. Am I the only one she caught by surprise? Oh, Rose, I'm going to buy a nectarine. I go to the market every day to buy a nectarine. At 82, that's life. A round trip on the number six bus to buy... How long do you think you can stay handcuffed? My personal best is 32 hours. <laughs> But of course, then I had somebody to play with. Dorothy Rose, talk to me. You girls have got to believe me. We believed you once, Blanche. We're not falling for it again. Falling for what? I told you the truth. Oh, Blanche, come off it. You really expect us to believe that Gil was... <laughs> You're leaving. Then I better pack. <laughs> you know what I'm going to miss about Sophia most? It's all that good advice she gives us. Well, I guess living all those years, she has a lot to draw on. Yeah. Well, she doesn't have anything to draw on. She just... Rose, whatever it is you're thinking, it isn't true. <laughs> good, then George Bush isn't married to his mother. <laughs> Boy, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> hey, this lock has been tampered. <laughs> I'm gonna pack. Sophia, wait, isn't there anything we can do to make you stay? Nothing, my mind's made up. I'm leaving in the morning. Oh. <sighs> I want to propose a toast to Dorothy's Bornack, who got an A in her French class, proving that you can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> and if anyone knows about tricks... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Or should I say... Okay. Now, take another. Come on. Come on. Uh, now, how about one more? Oh, 
That wasn't so hard. How does it feel? So many years inside. And that was quite enough. <laughs> then why don't you come to my house? Angela, please. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'll come. Okay. Maybe I could show Blanche how to correctly apply her makeup. <laughs> I'd like that. Although she might be offended if I bring it. Apple ball, which is being chaired this year by 35-year-old Blanche Devereaux. Twice. <laughs> I probably would have anyway, though. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I can't come see you this week. Oh, so you're studying for your interview. Uh-huh. I know it's a lot of added responsibility, but I really want this job. Then why are you reading the racing form? <laughs> the racing form? Why would you think I'm reading the racing form? You can't lie to your mother. Mothers always know when you... <coughs> this is too funny. I have to get my camera from the car. <laughs> Angela, I wish you wouldn't rush right back to Newark after the funeral. Why don't you stay at the house for a couple of days? I gotta get back to work. I was just promoted. Louise couldn't take it. She keeled over. Kaput. <laughs> the funeral was on Saturday. Sophia, that's terrible. You think that's bad? Guess who I volunteered to give the eulogy? Well, she just frozen solid. Oh, no. Melissa. Oh, gosh. Melissa? That's your music, Melissa. <laughs> Honey, do you remember the words? Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Come on, sweetheart, sing. Brush off the clouds and cheer up. Practical jokes. If I look through that, I'll get charcoal all around my eye. All right, Dorothy. Fine. Why don't we just call a truce with a nice piece of peanut brittle? <laughs> Come on, Ma. The peanut brittle is an even older gag than the kaleidoscope. I'll open the can. Snakes will come out. Honey face. You're your lawyer. <laughs> Rose, it doesn't matter. Just listen. She melted into his arms, faint now with the animal musk of him. I didn't know people had loins. <laughs> I've heard a loin of pork. <laughs> In her case, the same thing. We can't kill you here because there are cameras. Now, how did this happen? Oh, I don't know. They just said they wanted two women who loved each other and slept together. We do not sleep together. Yes, you did. Last month, when, when Blanche was having her room repaired. Ah, there you are. Ma, I scheduled the appointment for your checkup. Ma, you know you have to have a physical. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Take you to court? Have you declared incompetent? I'm not incompetent. Once, when I laughed too hard, I had a little accident. Sophia, wait, 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 wait a minute. Blanche, will you calm down? I have never seen you so worked up over one date. Dorothy, I let this gorgeous man slip through my fingers once before. I don't intend to let it happen again. <laughs> No, no, I couldn't sell my car to Rose. She's my friend. My great-granddaddy always used to say there are two things you never sell to a friend, a car and a slave. Because if either one of them quits working, you'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> of course, they hanged my great-granddaddy. He said a lot of things he shouldn't have. What do you give me for it? A oh, world's mouth water. <laughs> oh, my God. That's her. <laughs> I sure hope time has been good to Trudy. Good, not great. <laughs> oh, Trudy. Dorothy. Oh. 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 I think it's right for a girl to sleep with a man on their first date. It's a sin. <laughs> See, Sophia agrees with me. All I said was it's a sin. Personally, I'd go back to eating fish on Friday if His Holiness gave that one the green light. <laughs> We're out of milk. <laughs> Oh. Oh, 
a person cannot open a letter anymore without being accosted by some vile, disgusting thing. I thought it was against the law to send filth like this through the mail. Oh, no. What is it, Blanche? A letter from the IRS. <laughs> Why should I be standing in line Just waiting for bread I felt the same way about Haywood Boyle, the star pitcher on our high school baseball team. Oh, an amazing athlete. That boy had exceptional control. <laughs> he was always up for accounts for something. Oh, I guess you're right. But I still wish my wake hadn't been such a disaster. Well, look on the bright side. You'll have another one. <laughs> Dorothy! Hi, everybody! Hey, Dorothy. hey, Dorothy, what's your pleasure? Claude Aikens on a waterbed. <laughs> over the last five years. Or a pair of shoes. <laughs> Dorothy, what am I going to do? I'm meeting with my accountant tomorrow. He said to bring everything. You better include a cake with a file in it. Where are your receipts, Blanche? I always thought you only needed a receipt if the dress you bought didn't fit. <laughs> I mean, it's no trouble. <laughs> you know, being a doctor, it must be deeply fulfilling to be able to lay your hands on someone and bring them back to full pulsating vitality. <laughs> well, I've always believed that they had to tie a square knot. <laughs> Well, I am glad somebody taught you how to do this. I just love to watch you two kiss. The last picture was a little blurry. It was hard to tell who was who. No offense, pussycat. Pussycat, huh? Nobody's called me that since then. All the day and night time, hear me sigh. Oh, Stanley Zbornak, I don't believe that you're trying to charm me. Is it working? I don't think so. <laughs> Then you leave me no choice. I'll have to pull out the big gun. You're wasting your time, Stanley. I'm familiar with the big gun. <laughs> well, let's see how she did. <laughs> Help her out. Okay, Dorothy. Let's see how you did. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, <laughs> 7, 8, <laughs> 900 dollars! <laughs> about our policy in Guatemala. <laughs> about death, Rose. Oh, death. Are you prepared, either of you, I mean, really prepared? You didn't give me Dr. Myron Rosenzweig will. <laughs> oh, that man is the Picasso of plastic surgeons. Uh, well, just be sure he doesn't attach one of them to your forehead. <laughs> Hello, what's shaking? Blanche's breasts. <laughs> That's why she's good. She's my family. We're your family too, Dorothy. And you remember that. We might not be blood, but we're here. Oh, God, I miss her already. So there I was with no vet, and Petunia was about to give birth to her piglets. Good, then I'm dressed for it. Blanche is upset. Well, you would be, too, if your daughter... Oh, I can't even say it. What could have happened? The two of you were getting so close. My little girl is going to have a baby by artificial insemination. <laughs> the nitty-gritty, why don't you all tell me a little bit about yourself? Fine. I'm a teacher. I'm divorced. I am a widow. No man would leave me unless he absolutely had to. <laughs> I'm 41 years old, I'm 5'6", I weigh 108 pounds, and my hair is its natural hue. Oh. Sure, Blanche, you're the communion dress. I was there for you when you needed a prom dress. I was there for you when you needed a wedding dress. And frankly, I'm sick of it, buy your own damn dress. I'll be over at Mildred's. 
Rose Nyland? No, and if I start acting like her porn borscht. Yes, many, yes, yes, you many times. Yes, you have. Well, then you remember, he was St. Olaf's most famous shepherd. Well, Herder used to say, you can have a hundred sheep, and if one goes astray, that's the one you go look for. Especially if it's the best looking one. <laughs> A promise is a promise. <laughs> Where did a sweet Sicilian girl like you learn to do those things? I live with a slut. <laughs> uh, thank her for me. <laughs> oh. There's only one can. Well, how am I going to get to the airport? <laughs> Run behind it. Ma, I hate leaving you like this. I really do. Why don't you come with us? Yeah, come on, Sophie. It'll be fun. Oh, and the resort is absolutely gorgeous. Look here. Here's our room. Isn't that beautiful? You can have the king-size bed. There's already two... It's in the hallway, and I want to see why my bambine was up so late. <laughs> don't call me your bambina. Dominic, you hated the bambina. Stop saying that. <laughs> don't raise your voice at you, Mom. You know, you're not too old for me to take you across my knee. You lay a finger on me, your teeth will be back in Sicily before you... Are. That's my girl. We could do what we normally do, talk dirty and pig out. <laughs> I'll get the bowls and the spoons. I'll get the ice cream. I'll get the chocolate sauce and whipped cream. What are you doing? I'm trying to lure that UFO back with a flashlight and a pie pan. I read an article once in the St. Olaf Time that says this is the best way to do it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Raymond called. He's got the flu and he can't take me to the big Valentine's Day dance. Oh, I guess I'll be keeping you company, Dorothy. Why do you automatically assume that I don't have a date? She assumes there are seven days in a week. Have another piece of chocolate, Ma. The doctor didn't know what... You don't have to go through all that trouble. I bought this for my grandson. It sounded so good, I kept it for myself. Oh, I love Glenn Miller. I met my husband at a Glen. Rose is not here. Do you have any idea what time it is? No, it is not party time. It is sleepy time. No, that is not an invitation. <laughs> Sir, you cannot die from that. No, it's just uncomfortable. <laughs> Take a cold shower in the normal... It's to Rose, but I'm glad she wasn't here when I dropped by today. What a sweet thing to say. That must be why I date more than she does. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant what I said about that diet of yours. Men of our generation like a little meat on their women. <laughs> Maybe uh, you don't want to pinch an inch, but I do. <laughs> I would make a wonderful witness. I can't tell you how many times I've been badgered by lawyers. <laughs> well, I could, but it might sound like boasting. <laughs> oh, the stories I could tell you about me. <laughs> Now, you're not going to believe this, but I, I shall become a great Southern writer, carrying on the tradition of...
Who knows when she'll be home. Checkout time is usually noon. You know, Blanche has been without a date for weeks. I know that because all the pictures on my wall are straight. Hey, it's never easy to see a ball and Desi Arnaz and the Ricardos, the Mertzes. Oh, don't tell me you never saw I Love Lucy. No, I never watched much TV till I moved in here. I mean, Charlie and I never even had a television. We talked about getting one, but Charlie said it wasn't perfected yet. <laughs> Sounds like... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some things do change. <laughs> What a lovely, sweet story. Tell me, did his girlfriend ever show up? <laughs> You're right, Blanche. Some things never change. What? And I ran right into Reverend Mackenzie, coming out of the bar on the arm of Millie Beasley, <laughs> wife of Emmett Beasley, our town's most decorated war hero. <sighs> Emmett received three Purple Hearts. All for head wounds. <laughs> I haven't slept so well in years. Yes, but it certainly has nothing to do with this rock. Look, I like Marguerite as much as you do, but she's been here a week and she is not doing a very good job. I think she's doing a terrific job. Why, ever since she gave me that potion, Norman's been on me like white on rice. Uh, I'm talking about how white is gay. <laughs> I knew he was gay. I could tell by the way he used to worship Buster Crab. Oh, honey, are you just devastated? Oh, hey, what the hell? I mean, if I can't have him, at least I know no other woman can have him either. Hi, girl. Oh, hi there. Hey, are we to assume from your... You seem sudden, but there is something very important I want to ask you. Anything, Ted. Uh, may I cut in? Oh, hell. <laughs> hey, Stan, it's good to see you. What a coincidence, huh? Look, I'll be back at the table. Uh, but, uh, no, it's okay. Hey, we've got all night. You two enjoy, huh? You know something, Dorothy? You don't have to tell me this if you don't want to. But underneath it all, you believe in them, don't you? You did from the very beginning. Oh, I'm glad. What are you doing in there? Painting the Sistine Chapel? <laughs> Whoa, 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 pit stop. 